this is not what we agreed on. This is not the dream we had for this family. Well, dreams are good, my dear. The only problem is they're lifeless and cold. I suggest you pull your head out of the cloud and smell the coffee. By the way, what are you doing on the floor? Why are you doing this to me, Taiwo? Why do you choose to punish Sarah and I this way? What is keeping you away from your home at this time of the night? Don't keep your voice down for Christ's sake. It's 1 p.m. People are trying to get some decent sleep. Oh, you know what the time says? Is this when responsible men return to their homes? Is it? And I'm asking you a question, Ty. Would you listen to this an answer? Please really shut up! Do you sincerely want me to answer that stupid question? What is wrong with you? Okay, fine. Who pays the rent in this house? Me. Who pays our, our child school fees? Me. Who pays all the therapy you, you get from your, your for the boutiques and salons and bars you hang out with all your friends doing nothing? Who works? Then again, me. And you stand here and you tell me about responsibility. Why don't you tell me one thing as a man, as a head of this family, I'm not doing right? Don't change the subject. It is not what I meant, and you know it. I don't need these comments. So I need answers. And I need it now. Who, who insisted I stayed at home with Sarah? You. Who wouldn't let me walk? You. So don't you dare throw that at my face again. You want to sleep? Is, is this it? You, you want to go and sleep? Go ahead. But Taiwo, this is destroying us. And you can't just... Oh, please don't start that mushy stuff on me now. If you want to stand here and play knife with you, fine. Allowing this to continue, something has to be done. No way. No way. going out with because girl this your dress is so sassy i hope it's a one who's worth it look at you i'm going out with rich man of course you know that and that's why i don't know what you're getting at you're still going out with him happy i don't want to hear it sir okay i love richmond and if you can't bring yourself to approve of him would you at least save your criticisms when when i'm not around to hear them you see what I'm saying? Abby, you're my friend. And it hurts me to see you hurting. It's not a do or die affair. You love him. I can understand that. But what I cannot understand is you sharing him openly with some school run girl. <laughs> and to think that this is coming from someone who is dating some stranger from the internet? I beg you. <laughs> you see why I don't like telling you things about myself? Because you're just going to twist it all around and use it against me at a later date. Anyway, for your information, he's not saying Tyra. <laughs> she even knows her name. <laughs> hey, Abby. <laughs> oh, and for the records, my Peter is such a romantic. Hmm? He's coming by the end of the month to Nigeria to see me. So how's that? You know what you're doing because for all you know you could be hooking up with some serial killer or rapist who's looking for someone to snag it is not like that i've already had him checked out anyway you'll get to meet him by the end of the month and you see for yourself Hell, no way i am not interested in meeting a man who spends most of his time chatting up girls on the internet i mean sorry it seems perverted to me for all you know you're not the only one 
What are you still doing here? I thought you were meant to be at a sister's. I beg, I beg, I beg, eh? Please, allow me this moment. Twice, run and go and play house girl for my pregnant sister. Trace is so lazy these days. Only God knows what she wants me to do this time. What? She's pregnant again? Belle fool. Wow, seems she's almost pregnant. <laughs> I'll see you later, Tom. Um, Colin, can we go now? Yeah, sure, babe. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> see you later. I'm sure you can tell I can't stand the sight of him. I hate it when men don't know what they want. And it's supposed to be a man's world. You're right. Man's world indeed. No, 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 look, I can't. It's not possible. Look, I I have some assignments which I'm working on, okay? So it's really going to take my time. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we could just arrange something for next week. What do you think? All right. Um, yes. I don't have credit on my phone. Could you please, you know, scratch a recharge card for me, please? Thank you very much. Don't worry, I'll call you, okay? Yeah, bye. Huh. Stingy idiot. Oh. I'll call you back. Yeah. You were supposed to pick me up like an hour ago. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> I'll call you back. Okay. <sighs> uh, excuse me. Are you up to date yourself in Abby's corner? Yeah. I thought so! I'm actually seeing you. I'm a great fan of yours. I never miss your show every week. I'm just, your show is absolutely impressive. Keep up the good work. I'm, I'm Frank Aremo. It's good to know I'm being appreciated. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Same here, same here. You have no idea how wonderful it is to meet you in person. Thank you. I mean, your show is impressive. Believe me, I'm not easily impressed. <laughs> Just keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Um, well, uh, it's nice meeting you. I hope to see you sometime. Glad to know I'm being appreciated. Now what the hell was that all about? And you? Why are you still talking to Tyre? What's this? A pissing contest? Is that why you're behaving like a prostitute flirting with some guy you don't even know? Oh, was I? Of course you'll be familiar with the way prostitutes behave. I mean, dating one yourself and lying about it? Making me look stupid? Well, as much as you like to forget it sometimes, the fact is, I'm a celebrity, a TV presenter, and people recognize me once in a while. They smile at me, and I smile back at them. It is called appreciating your fans. Abby, where are you going? I have suddenly lost my appetite. Abby, come back here. Abby! 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 I apologized, huh? 
How you see the scene, Tyre? You know, I can see your hell bent on continuing with your bad mood. I'll see you tomorrow. You're not answering my question, Richmond. Are you still seeing that schoolgirl, Tyre? I thought you said it was over between you two. Abby, I choose to ignore that stupid question. It is not a stupid question. You only try to avoid answering it. Goss! Do you ever tell the truth? Excuse me. Abby, I'm Go away! I thought I told you not to call me. I thought I told you I was going to call you back. Where? How many times have I told you to stop dropping by my house unannounced? You just stay in there. I'll come see you in an hour. Babe! Like I was telling you, you see the deal has been a terrible financial drain to my resources. In other words, what you're telling me is that you can't give me the money I asked for, is it? I didn't say that. But you see, I cannot give you what you ask. Don, I'll give you 25,000 naira tomorrow. <sighs> Okay, I'll give you the remainder in two weeks. Okay? Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> Which one? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. So let two. me not even ask for it too. Two ah. weeks. Okay, no problem. Now, can you smile for me? Hmm? I'm smiling. Okay. <laughs> I want you to bring your smile and come sit on your booze laps. Come. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. <sighs> so tell me. What? Where have you been? How come you didn't come to pick me up from school? Tayo, stop being a nag. And stop asking me ridiculous questions because I have absolutely no reason to answer them. Excuse, excuse me, Richmond. Who is asking ridiculous questions? Me? Look, I don't have time for your useless step at this night. Do you hear me? Don't blame you. Living with them is so crazy. But to live without them, never. The world will just be too damn dull. I know, I know, I know, I know. Tell me, wait! I know, I know, I promised you. But I don't want to have chocolates every now and then, okay? Chocolates are not good for you, chocolates are not good for you! Look at your cheeks. Hmm? Like my dad is gonna be. Daniel, what did I tell you about words like Abi? They're not English words. Now, what is like your daddy's own? My cheeks. Exactly. They're like mine. Hmm? That is why you can never get missing. But if you do, they will bring you right back to me. I love you so much. I love you too. Nobody comes in here. Anybody moves? Please, please, please. Shut up. I'm going to make this as easy as possible. <laughs> so I need your cooperation. Oh, 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 God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Please, please. 
please, please, please. Look, it's not just it for you if you don't cooperate, okay? Be a good girl. Good girl. Please, please. Please, help me. Oh, oh, God. Oh, please. What am I going to do? How am I going to tell him? <laughs> you can't tell them. This is capable of destroying your home. When is he even coming back? Jesse, how will I face him? What am I going to say? How will he believe me that I was raped on a matrimonial bed? How? What sin did I commit? Yes. Why did they choose the night my husband went away? Why? Just say I need answers, please. I don't know. Okay, uh, we'll go to the police station to make a formal report. And then we'll visit your doctor. And please. please. Yes, ma'am, I know how miserable you're feeling right now. But we have to also thank God that you were not great. You see? It could have been worse. Yes. We have to thank God it was one person. What would you have done if the three of them can grab you? I know it's not easy. I'm not saying it is. But you have to try to wipe this away from your mind. And just, just move on. How? Just tell me. How can I wipe such a memory from my head? How? Yes, ma'am. You have to try. No matter how difficult it is. You have to try. I can't even subscribe to you going to a professional or even talking to a nobby living soul about this. You have to try. You have to try. Ask me, please. Don't do this. <laughs> Still saying no. And I'm saying I cannot take it any longer. How do you expect me to keep the seed of an armed robber? And you lie down there telling me to keep it. Do you know the weight of your, what you're telling me to do? This is a result of a rape. Not just rape, but rape by a hoodlum. And you're telling me to keep it. What? What can Benjamin, what are you trying to tell me to do? Honey, I can't honey, do honey, it. Honey, please, please don't don't cry. <laughs> We've been praying for children. I cannot give you one. Now you're pregnant, though through some horrible means. But the bottom line is, we're about to experience the joy of being parents. This might be just God's way of trying... Don't just call God into this. Don't bring God into this. Because the God I know is not a God of violence. He's not wicked. He cannot be part of this. He can't. He can't. So you think God will approve of you to abort the baby? You think God will be happy for you to kill his creation? This is a result of rape, Ben. And I'm sure God will understand. Our God is a holy God. Sin is sin, no matter how small. <laughs> My dear. I want you to reason this with me. Okay? Your suffering through that period is over. The trauma is over. What we have now is the gift of life. Now, do you want to waste this gift of life, this miracle that we have been praying for all this while? I can forgive you anything, including being raped, even though it wasn't your fault. But I will not forgive you if you lose this baby. Because if you lose this baby, you will lose your husband too. Don't even threaten me. Don't even start with that philosophy jargon because it won't work. There is absolutely no way I am keeping this baby. I can't. And you can and you will. Listen, my dear. Why don't you just take our time and reason with me? You can leave me and go out there and meet another man, marry him and have children by him. I can't. It's not the same for me. Can't you see? When it comes to giving you children, I'm not a man. But when it comes to loving you, I am all the man that I can be. 
Don't say it. You're a man. All right. I'm a man in here. But please let me also be a man outside by making sure that nothing happens to this baby so that we'll take care of this, our baby. Thank God I listened to Ben. How could I have gotten rid of this miracle? Thank you, Lord, for bringing him to me. Thank you, Jesus, for this child who has brought so much joy to my life. Are you okay? I am okay. I am just marveling at how big you have grown. We are going to grow bigger, bigger, bigger. That is it, my boy. You're going to go bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. Come and give mommy a big hug. No? Spread your hands. Yes. That's the boy. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that I'm not the girls. Only girls that are called like that. Sorry, sir. Please do not be offended. I hold you. Okay, so what you want to do today? You see, I, I want to spend some time with my family today, baby. Okay. <laughs> Sarah, stop it. So the container is here already, eh? Ty, what, what container are you talking about? Well, take it to the, to, to, to the um, uh, wharf. No, take it away from the wharf. It's out of the wharf already? Good. Take it straight to the warehouse, to keep it there. I don't understand. What are you saying? Keep it in the warehouse. I hope the containers are... Have you cracked it? Crack what? I mean... <laughs> no, it's just a term we use. Crack, open, tear, whatever you guys use. It's on your own. I've paid you. Check with your boss. I've paid every amount necessary. Taiwo. Hello? All I need you to do is do your job. Keep it at the wharf. I'll come over there and open my container, make sure everything is in order and we'll write the LPO or whatever else that is necessary to do, okay? Mr. Do your job. I have to go. I am spending time with my family. What the hell is this guy? Hi, lovely. <laughs> Hey, who is hiding? <laughs> my angel, come here, come here. You've been disturbing your mom, my Look at that. You're gonna get a cheese bonus. We're gonna get a cheese bonus. Hey, Mama, 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 I, I don't... Listen, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Look. I think you are drunk, mister. I suggest you go get some good sleep so you feel better in the morning. But please, let me be. Don't bother me again with calls of rubbish. I am not joking, Ben. I'm damn serious. Look, I'm giving you one week to tell your wife the whole story and get back to me. Well, I know that was not part of the deal, but he's my son, my flesh and blood, and I want him back, Ben. One week, Ben. One week. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't have a single idea what you're talking about. I think you are drunk, mister. I suggest you go get some good sleep so you feel better in the morning, but please, let me be. Don't bother me again with calls of rubbish. Ah, what utter nonsense. Who was that? No one of importance. It's obviously very important, else you will not be this agitated as matter. Jasmine, please. There's nothing wrong. <sighs> Benjamin, I hate it when you talk to me like this. I detest it when you just shut me out. 
I am your wife. Talk to me. I have a feeling something is wrong. Didn't we promise to be plain to one another? Didn't we? Jasmine, please. Don't ask me questions so I don't get to lie to you. I mean, I, I, believe me when I tell you it's nothing of importance. Besides, you don't want to know. Good night. In here. I'm getting confused. I'm sure you are too. Anyway, let's keep on watching. I'm sure we're going to find out together what this is all about. What game are they playing? Who is playing the game? Come along, guys. Let's continue the research. Chica! Chica! Chica, why? Why were you driving so fast? As if you wanted to get rid of us. Now you're sad. You're troubled. Why you never listen to me? Why you not the one driving recklessly? See, I'm the one here. How fair is that? You killed us. You killed me. You killed your only child. You will never have another one. Never. No! 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 say nothing is as easy as it looks I don't know about you but I think I'm catching up I think I'm beginning to suspect what happened here anyway let's see what's happening to the others in my research Cookies. Oh. Tracy we're here Titi oh. I was miles away see thanks for helping me pick her up oh it's no bother I'll be on my way now Dear, wait. Did Auntie take you somewhere? She took me to Mr. Beast. And did you eat? Yes. Did you eat your snacks today? I did not. Why? There was egg inside it and I don't like egg. Sarah, how many times do I have to tell you, darling? You need egg, you're still growing. Hmm? I run along now. I'll call you when I finish with you. Hey, Sarah, my kiss. Kiss, kiss. Love you. This is the problem I get from my family sometimes. See, is everything all right? I wish I know how to answer that. Tia, you still have my CV, right? Your CV? Yes. <laughs> Why? Mm. I need a job. And I need your help getting it. You need a job. See, what is really going on here? Because I know Taiwan won't agree to this job thing. Your, your phone's ringing. That's not my ringtone. Taiwan has done it again. These days, he picks my phone and leaves his. Why? I get to play his second. Like, you know, we use the same phone. Oh. Hello? He's not here. Call him back in later. Later. See, 
about my Why stage. don't you wait until after the baby? Because I don't know of any company that will be willing to take you on knowing that you will be due for maternity leave in a few months. <sighs> I respect the fact that you don't want to talk about it. But I want you to know that I am here for you anytime you want to talk, okay? There's nothing to talk about. If you say so, but just know that I am here. I, I, I will be here whenever you feel like it. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Take care. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I am a survivor. I will survive. I love you. I love you too, darling. about you. I haven't heard from you all day. I miss you. I hope they are not nagging you at home. I want you to know someone cares. I love you very much. Call me later. <laughs> Taiwo. <laughs> Taiwo. Mm. Nagging. Now, what is it again the Bible said about a virtuous woman? Yes, a wise woman builds her home. She's supposed to keep her home away from spiritual robbers. A virtuous woman. That is the new Tracy. Because there is no way I'm allowing any robber into my home, spiritual or otherwise. Oh, on that account, darling, I'm really sorry. I forgot my phone yesterday at home. That was what happened. Okay. <laughs> you know I do. Okay? Don't worry. Um, here's what we can do. Why don't you let me call you tomorrow and we'll work something out? Alright? And that's my girl. I know you're missing your daddy. <laughs> No, no, I'm at the club. I'm, I'm having a drink with Ben. All right, we do. See me. Bye. Angela said to say hi. Taiwo, don't you think you're taking this thing with Angela too far? What thing? Angela is a single working class girl who can attract any eligible young man. But instead of doing that, she prefers to keep you as a permanent boyfriend. Don't you think there's something odd in that? I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have any problems with cheating, but it's not good. I mean, it's dangerous to keep a permanent girlfriend, you know. I know where you're going, but there's really nothing to worry about. I can handle it, okay? Besides, it's not serious as you think. Not serious? Mm -mm. Tyro, do be careful. Don't let this get out of hand. That's my concern. What is this? The third degree? I said I have this covered. Tracy's pregnant and I have needs. Now Angela fulfills that need. The girl understands the situation. I love my wife. I love my kid and there's nothing in the world that will make me jeopardize that. Now I give her what she wants and she gives me what I want in return. So what is the worry? There's something infinitely gratifying about that please don't worry about it okay back off let's discuss something else it's okay it's all right i just hope you know what you're getting into that's all yeah to never getting caught <laughs> <laughs> i knew you never toasted that <laughs> they ever learn. There's no such thing as a no commitment relationship as far as girls are concerned. Duh. <laughs> Even if you're married, there's still a catch somewhere. Well, let's see where all this leads to. 
Tayo, yeah. the least you could have done was to call me to inform me that you were coming. Mm. Why? Is your other girlfriend in? Look, whatever. I have come to get my allowance. Your what? My allowance. Why are you so money conscious? Why? And what sort of question is that, Richmond? In case you have not noticed, I am a student and I have needs. And you being my boyfriend, it is your responsibility to cater for my needs. I beg, leave all this big English. I beg, find money for him. Well, Miss Tayo, I don't have money. When I do, I'll let you know. Right now, I'm late for an appointment. Excuse me. Hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. What, 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 do, you, what do you expect me to do? Eh? I should turn my back and go back to school a broke ass because of your stinginess. Look, bro, I beg, find money. Look, I said. I said I don't have money. Are you deaf? Are you mad? Are you mad? What do you want me to do? Eh? I should go and stand on the street and prostitute Abby. Well, you can go and stand on the fifth junction for all I care. Mm. And where do you think you're going? Out. Out. Richmond! Richmond! I'm gonna show you something today! Open it! Okay. Move the car now. Go, let me I see you! Know. You must give me that money today! It's either you give me or you give me that money. Tie your cap down. Hmm. You've not seen anything, no? When I move this car, let's see. You've not seen anything. You are who? Come and kill me today or you give me the money. I'm so scared, Tracy. Something is going on, and he has bluntly refused to say anything. He keeps acting funny each time he speaks to this particular person on the phone. Who? That is the problem. I do not know who the person is. And he keeps telling me it's not important. Have you tried to check the caller's ID each time this call comes in? Of course I have, but it's usually caller unknown. Tracy, something is going on. And I have this funny feeling it concerns my son. Why would you think that? I don't know. Call it a mother's instinct. I just... Just if, if anything happens to Daniel, you know... Oh, I'll yes, see me. Yes, I'll die. Yes, just... Stop it. Okay. Nothing is going to happen to Danny. Just... I'm sure Ben probably has a business, you know, problem. And he doesn't want to bother you with it. You know men are like that. So stop thinking about problems that are not there. I, I, I wish I were wrong, Tracy. I wish I were wrong, but I feel it inside here. Okay, why won't Ben say anything? I just wish he would open his mouth and tell me something. Yes, ma want... yeah, stop it. I, I don't understand why you want to manufacture problems where there are none. You know, you, you really have this way of inflating pains on yourself and it's not nice. Okay. Just to keep your mind at peace. I am going to find out from Taiwo. That is if there's any problem at all. Which I very much doubt, but I will find out from Taiwo. Please. I'll I talk want to you to do that because I am going out of my mind with worry. Yes, me. I will talk to Taiwo about it, okay? Daniel is all I have. I'll find out if there's any problem. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I trust you, girlfriend. You know, I like it when a girl knows exactly, precisely mm -hmm. what she wants. Yes, sir. And she goes for it. Okay, look at you, kid. <laughs> but again, mm. you have to tread softly. You know, those married men are only good for you to eat their money and walk. No go carry your heart, go bury them. <laughs> My dear, don't worry yourself about anything. Because I'm in control. Mm -hmm. I say Angie is in control. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the man worships the very ground I walk on. And I know for a fact that he's going to leave his wife for me. In your dreams, girlfriend. In your wildest dream. Look, Angela, at the risk of busting your bubble, I will tell you that those men are nothing but big time liars. It's his money and work. Don't let him deceive you into believing that he's going to do all those uh, 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 stupid uh, uh, promises he's making to you. They don't ever, never, ever will they leave their wife for you. Okay? <laughs> and I don't even know what gets into their head. And make them make all those stupid promises they know they will never ever keep. Man. Or was it <clears throat> you who took him inside the bedroom, conscatter in head, so say the guy no no waiting in the pocket. <laughs> Why there you know how far now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, seriously. Whichever way, okay? Whichever way. Don't believe that crap. Please. I knew you would believe me. I knew it. But girl, he told me this himself two weeks ago. Yes. He says he's just fed up with a woman. Has stress and I <laughs> Well, hello. If it isn't Mr. Lost and Found, <laughs> have you been? Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> oh, okay. Really? What time? Oh, okay. All right, darling. See you soon. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, oops, oops, sorry, darling. Well, I guess it's clearly evident that that was Taiwo on the phone. So sorry to cut your little visit short, darling, but um, I gotta go. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm already on my way. Oh, good, good, good. I have to see my Taiwo. Angela. What? Is this why? Is what wise? At 27, you should be thinking of getting into a serious relationship with a single guy and not a married man. Hello? We're not growing younger. Biological clock ticks. These married men are nothing but time wasters. But I'm not 27 yet. And I like him. Is it not going to be in three months? Oh, well. Whatever. Angela. Taiwo Ajai, your boyfriend, has a wife and a six year old daughter. Yeah, like I didn't know. This whole thing is getting too serious for my liking. Yeah, people date married men, yes, but they don't go flaunting it the way you're doing. Hmm, boring. <sighs> anyway, I'll still be here to keep reminding you that he has a wife and a daughter. What am I going to do with you? 
Look, Tutu, stop disturbing yourself. I know what I'm doing. You do? Yes, I do. Look, do you know the situation is so bad that I don't sleep in the same room anymore? Really? Really? I mean, it's so bad. She nags him all the time. Every time I meet him, he's so stressed out. You know, it's just... <laughs> What's so funny? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Girl, you're oh. losing it. Slowly. Angela! Huh? Are you this naive? Oh, God. Oh, God. A married man. With a wife. And a beautiful daughter. And you believe this? Let me tell you something. He will never, ever, not in this life, leave his wife and his beautiful daughter for you. I think you've said that already. Get that into your head. I don't even know why I'm even bothering to explain anything to you, Seth. It's not your fault. Do you know that? Because you've never been in love before. But when you do, and that's if you do, you have an inkling into what I'm talking about. But until then, let's just leave this matter, okay? I have a date. Please shut the door after me. Oh, love my girl. Married man. Wake up, you lost it. Leave my house. I'll remind you he's got a family. Which way? Right or left? Right! Which way? Which way, baby? You say this way first. Ooh, the drummer really says the first instructions and then. Which way? Oh, it's a full of I'm gonna have to jump you. Hey! Are you okay? Alright. Oh, no, no, forget the breathing. I was playing with my baby. Okay, I'll, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay. Just order some drinks and wait for me. What's wrong with you? Okay. Okay. Babe, I'm coming back, okay? I'll buy chocolate when I'm coming back. I have a business meeting in town. Then he has to go somewhere fast. Isn't it obvious? Um, listen, about the food. Keep mine in the microwave. I'll warm it as soon as I get back. I take that to mean you will not return home till midnight as usual. You know, the one thing you're becoming, Tracy, is a knack. And the sooner you stop it, the better for both of us. How about the courtesy of the truth? I'm pregnant. My feet, my feet are killing me. But you insisted you wanted a goosey soup instead of the rice I prepared earlier on. The least you could do is eat it. Before running off to, to your, your enchanted illusion of whatever it is you call it. Mom, don't shout in the house. Did you hear? Did you? Don't worry, my dear. Mom is not shouting. She's only, um, how do you say? Venting spleen, you know? Okay? That's my girl, so to speak. At least next time I know better. I have to come to my wife for express permission if I can leave my own house. What? <coughs> you have to I have a habit! I'm fighting with you! Are you fighting with daddy? <laughs> no, baby. No, baby. Mom is not shouting. It's an adult game we play sometimes, um, except she's the aggressor. She's aggressive, all the shot, and I'm the calm person. Okay? I need to go. Plant one big one for daddy. That is my princess. I love you, right? And please take care of mommy. She's seen the capable of taking care of herself. Um, I need to run. And don't wait up for some of us. It's a long night. 
<laughs> Tracy, you have done it again. Is this how you're going to turn into your new hero? The virtuous woman? Nice try. Tracy, you, the heart and soul of this family. You go, girl. Oh, shut up. My woman. Who am I talking to yourself? Come and eat your food. Come and eat your food. Mom, there's no water on the table. Grace? Grace! Yes, Auntie. You see why I say you don't know anything? How many times do I have to tell you? Water naturally goes with food! Block it! Will you take out of my cell and get water? Oh, Tracy, you really have to calm down. This is certainly not the way to deal with this situation. Maybe you should go back into the scriptures and really take a good look at what it says about the virtuous woman whom you're really trying so hard to emulate. is pregnant? Yeah. She's pregnant. Oh my god. But I thought you told me that you don't sleep in the same room together. I said that? Yes, you did. I don't know. Um, maybe that was for a period of time. You know we're always quarreling. I can't seem to miss issues. Or what am I saying? Why wouldn't I sleep in the same room with her? She's my wife for Christ's sake. You told me you were having problems. Listen, my dear, I, I'm not sure I like the direction this conversation is going. Come on, this is not really the right time for that kind of discussion, okay? Well, I think this is the right time to talk about it. Uh, apparently, you've not been very straight with me. And I don't think I like that. Well, what, you want to start nagging too? You want to start nagging? You've turned to a disciple already. Oh, fine. But you stay here, man. Where are you going? Taiwo, where are you going? Out. Okay? Apparently, all the women in my life have ganged up against me to make my life miserable. You can stay here, Nag. I'm leaving. I want to ask you, what do women want from men? Huh? I'm going to send the driver to pick you up later. I'm leaving. She's not bad looking at all. But if they're having problems, what's her picture still doing here?
that I should have known. The handwriting was on the wall, but I was just too stupid to see it. God, I feel so used. No way. No way. I must get something out of this relationship. I can't let this idiot get away with this. No way. No. Same here. I can't wait to see you too. I missed your voice yesterday. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't start when you can't finish, honey, okay? We'll talk later. Yeah. You're still coming at the end of the month, right? Oh, you have no idea how I'm looking forward to that day. Peter, I can hardly wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Later. Bye. Yours truly knows the four D's of a successful relationship. Drive, dedication, desire, and determination. Go, girl. Live it up. Uh, uh, go, girl. Live it up. Uh, uh, go, girl. Uh, uh, live it up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say we relocate to the States? <sighs> relocate to the States? Why? Yes. What's in the States? I'm tired of this country. I try so hard yet nothing seems to work. I'm tired. Oh, sweetheart. So you just try a little more patience and things will fall into place, okay? I don't think running to the States will solve all your problems. Well, that's easy for you to say. I mean, just look at you. You have a good job, everything seems to be working well for you, but me, nothing. It's like the more I chase money, the more it eludes me. You see, maybe you should change your line of business. Maybe I think that's... Abby, I please told you don't that... even start. Don't even go there. How do you think I feel when I can't do things for you? Do you know how frustrating it is for me to see you pick up the bills all the time? Honey, I want to do so much for you, but I'm so constrained. I know. And that's why I'm pleading that we go to the States. And settle down. Is that a proposal? <laughs> but of course, yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. You think I don't want to marry you? <laughs> Honey, I'm only constrained. Okay, I'm just constrained. Abby, you're the sweetest woman in the world and any sane man would want to make you a permanent fixture in his life. Honey, I am sane and I want to make you a permanent fixture in my life. But you see, I'm so frustrated. For example, you can't imagine how difficult it is for me to lay my hands on a hundred thousand naira for a deal that could change our lives. I told you to always tell me things that upset you. What's a hundred thousand naira? Baby, don't you know that I love you and everything I have is yours? Come on, cheer up. I'll give you the hundred thousand naira. Luckily for me, I picked up some money earlier no, today. No, 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 please, no. You will do no such thing, no. I've promised myself I'm not going to do that anymore. Why? Please, please, I have too much pride for that. You know I don't like collecting money from you. I'm an horrible man. I can't do that. It doesn't matter. Please, I can't. I, can't. I just can't do that, darling. I can't. Try another option, but collecting money from you, no way. I'm not doing that. Sweetheart, it hurts me to see you like this. Okay? Come on. It's just a matter of time and everything will fall into place. Okay? Please, I'll give you the money. I can't collect money from you. I can't. I mean, how will your people feel? What people? They don't know. What, what of your friends? 
What friend? I don't have any except Tara. Yes, Tara. Tara. I don't tell Tara that. What? It's too personal. You won't tell me that Tara do Tara is your confidence. Tara must no. know that I collect money from you and you know she doesn't like me. That's why she don't tell her. She doesn't like you. I can't tell her that kind of a thing. I can't collect money from you. I promised myself I'm not doing that anymore. Baby, you're taking the money. It's over there, right there in my handbag. Okay, I'll get it for you. Alright? Abby, I've promised myself I won't do this again. Shh, it's okay. It's gonna be alright. You take the money? You take the money, okay? You take the money. Okay. <laughs> you take the money. Cheer up. I it's not the end of the world. Don't I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. You I'm, will I'm be. Mm, don't worry. Hmm? Abby. You're the best. See, if this deal pulls through, all roads will lead to your village. And I'll go pay that dowry. For real? Of course. I love you. I love you too, Richmond. Let me go and get you the money. Or oh, you want something else? <laughs> Mary. Sir. I am not in for one Mr. Chica. Is he fair? Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Even if he can hear my voice from here, tell him I'm not available. If he crosses this reception and gets into my office, then you have to look for work. That would not be necessary, Ben. Because Chica is here already. So save those instructions for another day. I don't have anything to say to you, okay? I have a meeting in three minutes' time. Good. <laughs> well, if you insist we have the meeting here, it's okay by me. I don't have a problem. <laughs> because I know that we're going to sort everything out today, right here in your office. Because I'm not leaving until we settle the matter. So, which way would you like it? Well, I take it that um, we'll have the discussion here. <laughs> so, have you told your wife step, about... Step into my office. this madness, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna allow you to drag me into a psychiatric hospital with you. For goodness sake, what the hell are you writing about? Because I have no idea. You know damn well what I'm talking about, Ben. So cut that act. Quit it. I have told you I want my son back. Your son? Your son? <laughs> Oh my God, I have no idea that your son is in my custody. I don't remember- Oh, cut that crap! Cut it! So you don't remember? I can't believe this! You mean you don't remember the deal we had about seven years ago, Ben? Jesus Christ! Okay. If you don't remember, maybe I should refresh your memory. We had a deal about seven years ago, Bear. You asked me to come into your house on a fateful night to rape your wife so she could take in. Because she was almost quitting the marriage. You knew it was your fault. You had a medical problem. You could not impregnate her. Of course I objected. But you pleaded. You pleaded, babe. Saying it was the only opportunity you had to save your face. Out of the largesse of my heart. Out of the magnanimity of my good heart. I, I obliged. And the result is Daniel. 
I'm sorry to do this to you, man. I know we had a deal. But I want my son back. He's the only hope I have now. Is everything all right with you? <laughs> Chica, is everything okay with you? Mentally, I mean. I hope for your sake that is something the doctors forgot to cross-check before they discharged you from hospital after your accident. Because it's only on that basis that I will excuse this insult. How on earth can I ask you to rape my wife? How? Ben, sit down. Sit down! Ben, believe me, I take no joy in doing this. But it's the only choice I have. Ironically, I find myself in the same situation you were. Or you still are. Not capable of fathering a child. I'm tired of this cat and mouse game we're playing. Truly, I need my son back. He's my flesh and blood. Is this how you make a mockery of 18 years relationship? By cooking up a crazy fairy tale? To destroy a long-standing relationship? A relationship that dates back in time to our secondary school days when I was... Don't even bring in that school father nonsense. Because that was what put me into all this mess in the first place. And that is not what we are talking about. I'm tired of all this cat and mouse game we're playing, Ben. Ben, cooperate or you'll be talking to my lawyer. It's either you're crazy, stark raving mad, or some demon has possessed you. What the hell is going on here? I'm tired of listening to this rubbish right here in my office. Now get out. Ben. Out! Before I get the security to physically throw you out. Since you insist on doing it the rough way, I am capable. I am equally up to the task. So Benjamin, you get together your team of lawyers. Because all roads shall lead
Please just stay away from me. Honey, why are you pushing me off? I mean, instead of giving me my usual wet kiss. Please! It's not only wet kiss you get, it's a hot kiss. What's wrong again? What did I do this time? Look, I don't understand why I have to put up with all these lies. You told me you had no money. Yes. Because I asked you to give me a mere 30,000 naira. Yet I found a 100,000 naira in that cupboard. And what the hell were you doing going through my wardrobe? Mm. Huh? What the hell were you doing going through my cupboard? Wait, wait, wait. Is it because you saw me bringing out money from there the other time? How many times have I told you to stop searching through my things? Listen, my friend, that is not the issue. So don't digress. What I want to know is why you lied to me that you had no money. And another thing I want to know is why you refused to give me the money I asked for. That's because I borrowed that money. And there's no way I'm giving you a couple out of it. Okay. I mean, you're getting too demanding for God's sakes. What do you need all this money for anyways? For goodness sake, you're just a bloody student. Please. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Eh? Hmm. Tayo, you have so far. Just look at you. Take a look at yourself. 30,000 Naira. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not? Let me tell you something in case you don't know. My friend Stella, her new boyfriend gives her a hundred thousand naira for pocket money for just one month. Yet he's not even as rich as you are. But because of your stinginess to remove what come on his fight, my mates are. to slap me and I will slap you again because I asked you to give me 30,000 naira which when my mates are being taken to London for weekends by their boyfriends and all I get is slaps from my boyfriend in a Jaho estate what have I done wrong with where do you want me to go and get the money from? Huh? Where do you want me to go and get the money? <laughs> my mates are going to America with their boyfriends for shopping. They're spending all the days outside in the interior. All you do is beat me. Beat me because I asked for 30,000. Where do you want me to go and collect the money from? <laughs> It's alright, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hate you. It's okay. Why do you want me to It's okay, alright? I'll give you the money. Okay? I'll give you the money. It's okay. You give me all. I'll give you the money. It's okay. Alright? Okay, when are you giving me? Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did. <laughs> there goes girlfriend's hard and narrow. Hmm? And to think that she actually believed him. You should have seen her face when she was telling me all about it. The great American trip. At this rate, she will end up paying for him and Tyre to Grand Kulof in the States. Don't get me wrong. I'm, just, I'm not being negative here. I'm just... I wish you'd wake up and face reality. Huh? That guy has no plans for her whatsoever. He's only in there to eat her money. Eh? Which friend be that? For we? Hmm... Babe, she you know I'm not stupid. You know, sir, I'm not stupid. Of course I know now. Is that desperate girl that gave me that money? For where? 
Hi, to get up. Hey, my yam. Eh, now, I'm so sorry, yeah, how the guy they do, but she, she, you don't get. Mm. My sister, I don't know. I don't know, maybe he's, uh, Oibo Mugo has, you know, finally gotten himself back or. You know now, you know what is happening. Yes, this is not making things easy for them, so. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's now this Lagos desperate women that are turning Mugos for them. But who cares? What's my own? Ha! Of course now, I collected my share. 30 k no blinking. Okay, what do you guys I get cold? Yes. Wow, look who we have here. Miss Goody to shoes herself. Hey girl, yeah, I'll call you back, right? I have a guest, okay? I'll go to see you later. Bye. Hello. Hey, and what do you have in here? Let me guess. Um Oh my god, you brought food for us. Hey, come, come, come. Ah. Oh. Pardon my manners, my name is Tayo. Mm -hmm. Tayo Oluwale. No, no, no. Uh, don't, don't bother introducing yourself because I know you. Everybody around knows you, Abby. Oh, are you not Abby of Abby's Corners? <laughs> oh, anyways, um, lover boy is not in. I mean, our boyfriend. Well, you can leave any message with me and I'll gladly deliver your message. Well, I... I'm nice, am I not? Well, well, I am. Um, I don't have anything to say to you. Where is Richmond? Of course you will talk it over with Richmond and he will lie to you and you will believe him as usual. Oh, you dear Chris. I bet you Mumu. Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? Well, if you are stupid enough to be giving him money, I'm wise enough to be doing the spending. What? Thank you. Hey, hold on. I'm not done with you. I was just going to tell you about something. You know, I have to say thank you. You know why? Because he gave me 30,000 Naira out of the last 100,000 family support you gave to him. You gave it to him, I know. But don't worry, my lips are sealed. I won't say. I mean, it's between you and I. But more seriously now, do you actually think that? Or do you actually believe that Richmond would marry you? Oh, do you look at him like someone who is ready to settle down? That is why he loves me. Because I'm young and I'm fresh. And girlfriend, I am not planning on any trip down the altar anytime soon. Unlike some desperados that I know. Bye, <laughs> Miss Goody Two Shoes. At this corner, my foot. And I've just had about enough of you. You took my heart and crushed it to pieces. Took my body and messed it all up. Now you took my money to fall lake with your girlfriend, Richmond. I'll never forgive you, Richmond. Never. No, get out. Abby? Wait. What is this? What are you saying? Are, are, are you trying to break up with me? I mean, there is no way you're breaking up with me. I can't allow that. Oh, come on, darling. Don't break your booze heart. Uh, what heart? Do you even have a heart? What you have in there is a stone mixed with granite and rod and not a heart! You're the meanest son of a bitch I ever came Abby. across. Abby! Be careful 
careful what you say to me. Listen, if I were you, I wouldn't believe everything Tayo says. I mean, don't you... When will you stop the lies, Richmond? When? I am sick of it. Look at me. Richmond, take a good look at me. I am intelligent. Hard working. And you are guilty of exploiting my humanity and goodness without fully compensating me with either faithfulness or commitment and I've put up with long enough. Richmond, just go, please. Just go, okay? What is this? Abby, what is this? This isn't you. This is not you. You've always had a positive attitude towards this relationship, so why are you giving up now? Why? Why? Positive attitude does not necessarily produce miracles, does it? Does it? Why are you making it harder than it already is? Why? You're the one eating his cake and still having it! You shouldn't have done what he has hey, done! Hey, 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 hey! Don't you dare tell me what I should have done and what I shouldn't have! Who the hell do you think you are talking to me like that? Who? life again because I can only imagine where they've been. Hey, 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 hey! Shut up, okay? Just shut up. Shut up before I lose my temper. Who the hell do you think you are talking to me like that? I will talk to you anyhow. I want to talk to you because you're nothing but a dirty, stinking, smelly rat who wouldn't have a... What? What? Don't you ever do that again. If you ever try to hit me again in your life, you won't even believe what I'll do to you. Because I'm gonna to have to scratch out your whole eyeballs, scratch the whole of your faces, and the whole of you! What the hell do you think you are? What do you take me for? I am through with this madness you call relationship. You're angry now. God! I know you're angry, but you see, this is so damn unacceptable. You and I will talk about this when we're much sane. Really? Okay? Really? Yes. Well, for an educated man, you sure don't have much of a vocabulary, do you? This isn't working out. You already know that because you're a liar and a cheat. Why make a meal of it while I'm willing to walk away quietly after all that you've done to me? Richmond, you've taken so much money from me. I've emptied my whole bank account for you, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to write it up as bad debt. All I want for you to do is to go far away from me, Richmond. Please just go, okay? Go, go away from me. Richmond, go away from me, Richmond. Hey. Go. You know what, Richmond? I used to think the devil was invincible. But right now, I'm staring at him eyeball to eyeball. Get the hell out of my life, Richmond, and stay out! Get out! Abby. Richmond, go away! Abby, Abby, just, just, just 
Listen. Rich money, no. Okay. No. Look, no! I, I be, go on. I, I be. Go, go! coming from someone who's in a relationship with someone she hasn't met. But the fact of the matter remains is that when there's no change in something, you have to let it go so that it doesn't eat you up. It's time for that great list, girl. Great list? What's that? Things you like about him, things you dislike about him. Check which list is longer. And if the dislike list is longer, you try and call it off and see if he'll sit up. Well, you are good. I mean, I don't know how I come up with all these brilliant ideas. And Tracy thinks she's the intelligent one. <laughs> Am I good or what? Come on, girl. Admit it. It's a great plan. At least it's a wake-up call for Richmond. Hello? Personally, I think you are too good for him. But I know you still love him. So what's it going to be? I don't think I'll be able to do anything like that. I've always prided myself to be an honest person and quite honestly, I think I should let him go. The man has turned me into an emotional rector. I'm almost a shadow of myself. My heart is completely gone. Oh, crying again. Oh, God. Be strong. I know it's not going to be easy, but you've, you've got to look towards the positive. Sometimes life breaks your heart. It doesn't have to break your spirit. Please be strong. Put your feet down. And if he can't stand losing you, he'll just have to marry you. No, no, Tara. I don't think I'll be able to marry a man like that. I mean, not after what had happened here earlier. Not after. I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand it, Tara. Please don't do it anymore. I didn't think she would be stupid enough to do this. Obviously, I underestimated his stupidity. He's dragging me to court for the custody of my son. Have you ever heard anything so stupid in your life? These are very serious allegations, Ben. Are you sure you've told me everything I need to know about this? Uh, well, everything I told you is the truth. Good. I'm glad you're acquainted me with the fact of this on time. Don't worry, we'll make a main smith out of him in court. Okay. Oh, you're leaving now. Why are you so casually dressed? Oh, no court session today. Yeah, no. Actually, I was at the club when your call came through. Really? Yeah. I have to rush back there now. I wish I could have fought such a nice time. It's no big deal. Once in a while, we get to hang out, stay off work. Do have a nice day. You too, Ben. Benjamin. Ben, please tell me I'm dreaming. Tell me this is not happening. I wish I could, my dear, but unfortunately I can't. It is happening. How could Chica cook up such a story? What is he talking about? Wait a minute. Could it have been Chica that raped me? No. Of course, he's not the one. He's not. Listen, let's focus on the problem at hand. 
Barrister Edwin wants you to come to his office tomorrow. He wants you to be prepared for the legal battle ahead. You know, we won't let you get away with this. Because he's trying to take advantage of the situation. What situation? Does Chica know I was raped? Oh God, man. How could you tell your friends? How could you do a thing like that? I didn't tell anyone anything. I didn't. If anyone else knows about this issue besides you and I, then it must have come from you. You told Tracy, I suppose. Ha! Huh. Women. Can they ever keep a secret? Anyway, let's just face the problem. All right? Are you trying to tell me that I will have to fight for the custody of my child? That Daniel might be taken away from me if I don't tell the whole world I was raped? To relieve that horrible night? Oh God. Oh God. Somebody wake me up. Somebody wake me up. I must be dreaming. I'm dreaming. But I'm awake. Somebody wake me up. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine! This is no time for drama. This is a time to concentrate, focus on the battle ahead. Yes, that it is, a war for the life of my son. And I would rather be dead than allow anyone to take my son away from me. Anyone. <laughs> Early. I, I didn't quite hear you get into the house. I was hoping to finish, finish all this before you get back home. Um, but um, <laughs> that still does not answer my question. Um, what are all of this doing here? Remember I told you about uh, being a representative of Mary Kay? Did you? Yes, baby, I oh. told you. Oh, yeah. yes. Well, um, these are some of the products, um, the scent, so I've been busy trying to put prices on them and I was out all day looking for office space. <laughs> baby, I'm so tired, so just I'm um, trying to round up. Oh, baby, um, I didn't realize you were serious about all of this. Not serious? Well, I didn't realize. Baby, they are launching fully into the Nigerian market. And the other day, they... Uh, they are talking about a um, TV commercial, so they want um, a famous face, you know, someone the public would just be at home with. So I suggested um, Abe, you know Abe, Abe of Abe's Corner, Tara's friend. Okay, maybe you don't know her. And and then, you know, people whoa, just... Whoa, 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 baby, whoa, 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 slow down a little bit. You're going a little too fast for me. Okay? Um, office space, TV commercials, it's... That is going way too fast. It, this, this requires a lot of responsibility. I, I'm not sure you can handle this magnitude of war because it means getting... I don't want to hear it. This is something I know I can do, Taiwan. Can I at least have your support on that? Can I? Yes, you can have my support. But I've always supported you. You know you don't have to do anything to please me. You don't have to prove yourself to me or anything like that. I can provide for my family. You know that. I was just worried about you. You're in a state, you know. You're pregnant for Christ's sakes. I need to... Pregnancy is not a disease. 
It's not sickness and I'm... No nagging, Tracy. Or you will push him further away. At least you're talking. Sorry, baby. Did you say something? <laughs> yeah. I was about to say that. I'd completely forgotten how my beautiful wife's smile can light up a whole room. <laughs> if that was intended as a compliment, in its serious work. Oh, it does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd gotten so rusty. Hmm? which I practically have to bribe Tara for. <laughs> I know today's Thursday is um, Grace's day off and I needed time to do all this on my own. So, like you said, at home, alone. <laughs> what? Wait what? You are home early. How come? You ask to me the question. Just don't do you. <laughs> well, my dear, it's um, 6 p.m. And um, like you said, we're all alone. And I'm sure between you and me, we can think of a million things to do with all this quality time, my exquisite one. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's not picking my call! I'm the one who's supposed to be upset here! God, why are men so selfish? Let me try again, maybe. Oh my god, he's still not picking! What do you expect? Angela, he is a married man! I, I know that already! God! What do you want from me? My skin? Jesus! As if I'm not feeling bad enough as it is! <laughs> Tabo better pick up this phone before I get upset. If he thinks he's just gonna use and dump me, then he has another thing coming because this chick ain't gonna give up that easily. Now what for you? <laughs> now real what for you? Uh uh. <clears throat> anyway, girlie, I gotta run right now. Because I've got this date to catch. You can come along if you want. Who knows? You might catch a very single guy there. He's a beach body. I have a boyfriend. In case you had forgotten. Who? <clears throat> Mr. Taiwo Ajayi? Oh, please get real. You see, this is the part I don't understand. How can you treat a married man like a boyfriend? Oh! It's not as if he doles out money to you. Look at your place. There's nothing special about this house. Okay. I'm not saying that <clears throat> if a married man winks my way, I'm not going to wink right back. But girl, that is strictly on dropping levels. Strictly business. But unfortunately, <clears throat> this chick here, I've got this allergy for married men. They are complete bad luck. And you know what? Mm. For your information, this baby here is gonna get married. You bet on it. You still don't get it, do you? No. We're in love. <clears throat> it's up to the woman to make her relationship what she wants it to be. And girl, I intend to build this relationship because I will marry Taiwo. He's 
just very confused right now. I know that very soon he's going to come to realization of the fact that he's, he's going to very confused right now. And why you people are rejoicing in this uh, marital bliss? Okay. Where will his dearly beloved wife be in the equation? Haven't you been listening to me? No. They're getting a divorce. God. You're so stupid, Angela. Yes, you are. God, how can you believe a married man will leave his wife and daughter just for you in this millennium? Okay. I have to leave right now. Hmm? Do have a dream field day. I need to ask you. I need to ask you. Yes. Are you really sure you want to go ahead with this? Because you have an opportunity to withdraw this case. Look, I have made up my mind. I want my son back. He's my flesh and blood. And I'll do whatever is necessary to get him back. If you say so, I'll do my best to make sure victory is ours. Um, I must say that it's highly imperative to get the chief judge to order for a DNA test. It will help our case. Yes, um, I agree with you. So you keep in touch? I sure will. <laughs> Have a nice day. That guy up there, cool, that I can deal with, we can talk, we can even agree to disagree. But that guy down there, if you know what I mean. I do. Oh gosh. He has one track mind. Now that's why men can't stop being dogs. It's just like asking them to stop leaving. Honey, they are born liars. Is that what you think? That girls don't lie in their relationships? That's what I know. Personally, I know for a fact that girls are the bigger liar. Okay? Now, see this story. Come. Okay, let me tell you. Um, this guy and this girl have been dating for like seven years. Um, proposed to her, visit her, and uh, well, suddenly, he just said he was going to check her. Sponsor the girl's school fees and everything, you know? For like two, three weeks. You want to see the girl again? Ha! It's the nookie check this girl now, waiting to happen, you know? Suddenly, when you got there, the girl was married! <laughs> You're not serious? Yes! After seven years? Yes, yes! Now tell me, who are the bigger liar? Is it the guy who says it the way it is? Or the girl who makes it look as if they're smart to it? Sam, did this actually happen or you just made up this? Come on, girlfriend. It happened to a friend of mine. Still, I don't judge relationships by other people's standards. I still take chances on love, though, because I believe one day it will happen. But I didn't know it would be this soon. What are you trying to say? That I... I'm in love with you. Tutu, I'm looking at you and I'm telling myself, don't let her go today. Don't let her go today without letting her know. I love you, Tutu. I know it's too soon. Please marry me. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? 
then if what I think is what is happening, then this is the worst form of betrayal. Goodness, what kind of games are men play? Okay, <laughs> yes, I know, let's not jump the gun, Abby. Eh, we'll go see now. Plenty go see Shelley. <laughs> Never settle for less than your dreams. Somewhere, somehow, someday, you'll find him, your Mr. Right. Now, before we go, there is something I know for sure. Everything that goes towards making you a success is in the inside of you. It's the you inside of you that counts. So don't be afraid to let him see the real you. Gosh. That chick is so cool. I wish I could call her my own. It's like perpetual. I forgot to mention a weakness that I have, and that is the fact that I, I'm very good at dishing out advice, but I hate to be the one to carry it out. But I don't understand your fears. I thought you said he sent you his patience. What if he's not what he says he is? I need moral support. If it doesn't turn out right, I will bail from sight. Okay, what if you are not what he's expecting? That's supposed to make me feel better. Oh, really? I mean, you know, it's a two-way thing. You know? I mean, you stand at this even when you have your set about it. So you're going to have to see through the end, and then I'm going to be waiting for the juicy part. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Tara, what time is it? And I want to tell you that I've been finding out some very interesting stuff. Your case is the most interesting. What? What's that supposed to mean? Your case is in it. <laughs> Tara, are you telling me that you've been using all the gist I've been giving you about which one I to include in your research? <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect when you practically ordered me to get the materials ready for the next edition? Of course you're in it. My case is in it too. Charity begins at one girl. <laughs> Ta. I hope you're not including me in that thing though. Anyway, as a matter of fact, I'm not telling you anything about me anymore. Have you forgotten that I'm psychic? And that I have special powers to see into things? Hmm. I can summon my psychic powers if I need to discover some secrets. I wonder why I haven't opened the church yet. I would have been very successful. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do when this whole entertainment industry starts to bore me. Hmm. <laughs> psychic call, psychic me. Instead of you to say that you're the greatest gossip and busybody this side of town, you're busy claiming to be psychic. Okay, so if you're so psychic, why haven't you used those powers to see if it's your internet lover or guy is what your troubles or not? You know those things don't work when you're the person in question. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, believe whatever you want. All I know is that my psychic powers beat you to hire me in the first place. <laughs> and I'm going to give you the best material that Harris <laughs> Connor has ever had. Let's go! <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Why? Is this just your what? I've been it again. Um, how, what, what are you doing here? I mean, I've never seen you here before. Do you come here? No, 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 she doesn't. I had to practically drag her here. Yes. Wow. Me. <laughs> um, you, you don't, I, we met about two months ago. I told you I was one of your fans. I love your show. I meet fans every day, so I don't even know which... To, uh, yes, but this was peculiar. You were with some guy and you seemed to have an argument, so you walked out of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Frankie. Hi, how are you? That's a long time ago. Yeah, you do remember me. <laughs> yes, That's I wonderful. do. Yeah, wonderful. I do. <laughs> um, so, um, actually, that day, I really wanted to get your number, but you were with someone, obviously, so I couldn't get your number, a decision I regretted since. So if you don't mind, can I please have your number? No, I don't think that's Her possible. number is 0805-123-0002. Yes. Triple zero. Two. Um, two. Okay. Hi, I'm Tara. Hi. I am the one who writes all those wonderful scripts for the yeah, show. Yes, wow. me. 
Wow. I see you around. It's a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. I mean, listen, mm -hmm. I have to tell both of you, you do a wonderful show. Fantastic. I watched you. Um, you. yesterday's episode. Fantastic. You guys blew the socks off me. Where you guys just go on? Thank you. How do you come up with that material? It's mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank you. Girl, you are good. You are mm -hmm. very good. Um, sorry, um, I didn't quite get the last... Triple zero two. Oh, give me that! <laughs> oh, wait. That's it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Ciao, see ya. So, I'll see you around. Yeah. You will come here more often. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to call. I'll call. I'll call. I'll call. I'll call. I'll call. <laughs> In other words, you're telling this honorable court that you are the biological father of Daniel Atta? Yes, I am. And I'm sure that the DNA test result will prove that. What is your relationship with the defendant? Ben and I have been very close friends since our days in secondary school. As a matter of fact, he was my school father and we've maintained that close relationship ever since. I look up to him, not just as a friend, but as a mentor. That means it's going to be difficult for you to refuse him, were he to ask you for a favor which was within your reach. Objection, my lord. Counsel is leading the witness. Objection sustained. Counsel, rephrase your question. Yes, my lord. Can you please explain the phrase, I look up to him as a mentor? My relationship with Ben has always been like a father to son relationship. Going back to our days in secondary school, you know. And so we've remained like that even up till now. It would be difficult for me to refuse him anything. Interesting. That means you wouldn't refuse him anything even if it had to do with fathering a child for him. Objection, my lord. Counsel is still leading the witness. Objection sustained. Counsel, stop leading the witness and get straight to the point. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that will be all for this witness now. Remember, you're still under oath and you swore to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I know. You told this court that you're the biological father of Daniel Attar and Yasmin's mother has denied having any relationship with you other than the fact that you're her husband's friend. Can you please tell this court how this pregnancy came about? Will you please tell this court how you got the defendant's wife pregnant for the child they're not claiming to be yours? Well, I... 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 I raped her. Order! Oh, oh, you raped her. We have a rapist in court. Can you explain how and where this rape took place? It happened about seven years ago in Ben's house. Ben invited me over that fateful day and told me his medical history and that he wanted me to do him a favor. Ben asked me to help him get his wife pregnant. I asked him how he expected me to do a thing like that, especially when his wife is such a principled woman that would never entertain the idea of sleeping outside marriage. I... That was when Ben told me his plans. He had it all worked out. He was to be out of town in Abuja that weekend and 
I was to go to his house with two other men he already paid to do the job to stage a robbery operation and then rape his wife in the process. Of course I refused. But my friend pleaded, saying it was his only chance at getting a baby from his wife to call his own. I felt for him. And so I reluctantly accepted. Then Ben told me he was sure that was his wife's ovulation period. And he wanted me to do it because he didn't want to go through it the second time. And so on that night, we broke into Ben's house and I saw his wife, Yasmin, looking so innocent and, and frightened. I almost backed out. But then I remembered I needed to help a friend out of a difficult situation. Interesting. The last good man. You must be a very noble man indeed. I put it to you that you're a robber and a rapist. You buy you know, your friend's wife in his absence, robbed and raped her in the process. I, I did not. Ben and I planned it together to look like a robbery. I, I, nothing Do was you funny. have any documents, any agreement, anything written whatsoever to prove this? No, no, there was no need. Any voice recording, any video coverage? Ben and I agreed. Come on, Ben, tell them. My lord, that's be all for this rapist who charged the rape for rape. My lord, may I ask for an adjournment to enable me to pre prepare my witnesses? Granted. I hereby adjourn this case till next week, Wednesday. To enable the defense counsel to inform the students. And the court, please. The court shall rise. Court! Okay, be mindful of what you're saying so you don't say anything you will regret later. Chica's testimony in court today is not something to brush off just like that. And by God, I am not going to be quiet about it. God, it was as if I was watching the videotape over and over and over again and you're telling me to be calm about it how on earth do you expect me to be calm about it how will you get a hold of yourself that's fine yes man you know i don't like it when you're in this mood i have told you we need to keep a clear head through all this being melodramatic isn't going to help any of us you know oh I am being melodramatic. Yeah. You're telling me I am being melodramatic? I'm not going to be in the courtroom today. Yes. What are you trying to say? Put your voice down. Oh. Daniel is still asleep. Is that right? At this rate, he is going to find out sooner or later, so it is better we drag this thing out once and for all. Everything that was said in that courtroom today was how it happened that night. I don't remember going into details with you. Neither can I remember telling anyone the details. So how on earth did Chica get to know exactly what happened at night? How? Is this some kind of a joke? Is this a game? Could you... Is it... Did you... And Chica planned this as he claims. Do you know what you're accusing me of? Are you listening to yourself, Jasper? This is exactly what he wants. 
I mean, look at us. Here we are, fighting the bitterest and biggest battle of our lives. Instead of banding together as a family to fight a common enemy, we are fighting ourselves. Yes, ma'am. After all these years, after all these long years, you're still not sure what I'm capable of. Huh? Don't you know what I'm capable of? Hmm. No, I don't. I don't know you anymore. I don't know what to believe anymore. God! was exactly how it happened. Everything. He knew every detail down to what I was wearing. So don't you stand there and give me that family party nonsense. Benjamin, I am going to ask you one more time. And this time around in plain language. Did you arrange with Chica for whatever reason to have me raped? You are almost as Crazy as that idiot. If it not like that, I love you so much. I would have slapped the living daylight out of your eyes for even thinking of that. And not to talk about the insult of hearing you voice it out. What is this, for Christ's sake? Pop? Psychology? Huh? Look, 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 look. Yes, ma'am. I am totally drained of emotions right now. You're drained of emotions? What about me? What about me, Benjamin? Your dignity was not online in the court today. Everything I held there was under scrutiny in that courtroom. So don't you stand there and tell me about the emotions because I am at the height of it. God. What is happening? <laughs> Benjamin, I need you to tell me this is a nightmare. I need you to tell me everything will be alright. I need you to tell me that I am going to wake up and everything will be how oh, it was. I don't know what to do. God. Yes, man. Oh. Yes, man. Yeah, it's it's alright. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Please don't cry. We're going to live through all this. Okay? It's alright. In the end, everything will be fine. Okay? Please. Please. This must be very difficult for you, madam. But please try as much as you can to describe in detail what happened to you that night. I, I, I do not remember the time exactly as I was already asleep. I was home alone because my husband had traveled out of town. I was suddenly awakened by a group of men that burst into my room. At first I didn't know what was happening until one of them jumped on me on the bed. ripped my underwear and he he please tell the court exactly what he did to you i screamed i i, I screamed and and he covered my mouth and threatened to stab me with a knife and then he violently raped me hey. He raped you. And what happened afterwards? He just got up, wore his clothes, and left. I was too devastated. I, I couldn't understand the cruelty and why someone would come to my house and rape me instead of taking the things he had come to take from the house. Did you see the face of the man that raped you? No. He was wearing a mask. Can you tell the rapist's skin color? No, I... You have to understand that that night is a night I wish never to remember in my whole life again. 
I was too traumatized. I, I was only concerned about what was happening to me that night and not the person that did whatever for he. I am shocked a chica would claim to be the violator. He will not get away with this. As I have prayed to look into the eyes of the man that raped me as he gets his punishment. Did you report the rape? I reported the rape to the police and the robbery as well. As I later gathered from my gate man that there were four of them and they took things with them as they left the house. At what point did you discover you were pregnant? A few weeks after the incident. It is very true that my husband has a medical condition. But we were already planning to adopt a child when I discovered I was pregnant. Would you say that Ben has been a very good father to Daniel? Absolutely. I could never wish for a better father. My lord, that will be all for the defense. Yes, and who are you? Oh, you've already broken my heart. Don't tell me you didn't recognize me. I am Peter, the love of your life. Yes? No, it can't be. You don't look anything like the picture you sent. Oh, really? I look better? Oh yeah, I, I don't blame you. You know, everyone thinks the same. You know, when I was a little boy, my parents were always getting tired of people, stopping them on the road and telling them how cute I was. Even now that I'm grown up, people still tell me the same. Well, people can't get their eyes off me because of how good looking I am. You know what, baby? I'm always tired of fending off excess attention from women. So girlfriend, count yourself lucky that you are the chosen one, right? Oh, I've taken your breath away. Oh, damn. You know, that's the effects I have on women. Okay. Damn. You didn't tell me you're this tall and beautiful. But that's fantastic. You know, I love my women when they are tall and beautiful. Maybe could you imagine a tall, beautiful woman on the arm of an equally handsome young man? <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, well, let's step it to my car, you know. I came in uh, my home cheap. It's a classic. It's a very, very classic. The world of his own. So let's go. Oh, girl. You come over, man. I came in my home cheap. That's classic. The world of his own. Let's go. My God. I can't believe what is happening. Hey, <laughs> Abby go love me, die. The script must have sent me someone else's pictures because well, there's no way I can believe that this is the same guy in those pictures. My God, how on earth do I get out of this mess? Oh no, you know what girl? I know you love this house. Man, this is what I drive over there in America. You know what it costs to drive in homage? Oh man, damn. But you know what? If you want to stay here or you want to come over there, just tell me. I'll buy you something like this. <laughs> oh, girl, give me that smile again. Give me that smile. You don't want to do that? Okay, you know what? I'll just show me. Take me around town. Take me. Show me any local set where I can have the local feel, you know? 
I can enjoy the local food. African dish. That's what I want, man. Oh Lord. Just take me to any what good place. What did I do to okay? this? Pass. Give me. My baby. Deliver me from him. Oh Lord. Bitch, where are you coming from? What is that? What's the meaning of that? What do you mean by where was I? Yes, that was my question, so answer it. Where have you been? And another question, where's your phone? Hey! Give me that. What is it? Why is your phone off? Hey, 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 hey! Look, just slow down there, right? What is all this? If you must know, I was in school, Hyper! You know, Tayo, I must congratulate you. Congratulate me on what? Yes, on your acting pros. Now tell me, your school curriculum, does it also include drama lessons? I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me. Now, young lady, come back here. You will not walk out on me. Now you stand there and hear me talk. I was at your school and you weren't there. I called you and you didn't pick up your phone because it was switched off and not that the battery was dead. So I ask you again, Miss Tayo Oluwole, where the hell were you? <laughs> now you walk on it and with a little bit of luck, you might come up with the half intelligent answer. <laughs> Divorced the silly woman until she got herself pregnant to entrap him. <sighs> She's pregnant? Yes, so. Again? Again. With a second child? Oh, God, I'm fainting. Uh -uh. Why are you fainting? <laughs> Might as well die and get it over with. It's like I'll be in peace. I won't die yet. Cheers. 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 Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Wait, how can you, what, how on earth did you believe what he was telling you? What happened? I okay, don't know. maybe it was you who went to pregnant his wife for him. Mm. Because I remember you telling me, he said they've been having problems, they don't sleep in the same bedroom anymore. What happened? They give me a break. I fell in love. Is that love. a crime? Love. Please, you believe me. him, a married man. Let me tell you something. Hmm? Better get whatever you want out of that relationship right now. Ask him to get you a car or something, that way you won't feel used. Get whatever, grab anything you can grab and walk. I am telling you, okay? Hmm. Walk, That's girl. That's a good idea. I just might do that. Yeah, a car. I need a car like yesterday anyway. Anyway, yeah. enough of that, you're tired because he bores me to death. <clears throat> girl, there's this new news. Mm. Mm. What? This chick here is in love. Mm. I mean, love. And who's the unlucky fellow this time? The no. luckiest man in the whole wide world. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm at this guy. He's dark and he's a complete bloke. Yeah, at the beach party. And guess what? What? He is as single as he came, yeah. loaded to his teeth. Mm. 
And guess what again? What? <clears throat> He's got this brother who looks exactly like him and um single. I could link you. I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm still trying to get out of this one. Pinko. Cheers. Cheers. I'm trying to Um, hello? Baby, how are you? Um, listen, I, I have an emergency at the moment. Um, I'm coming home. I have a meeting in Abuja. It's most urgent. I have to be there for 3 o'clock. Yeah, 3 p.m. So I need you to pack an overnight stuff for me. Overnight bag. I, I'll stay one night and I'll come back tomorrow. So the complication is my car is, that I, I think, is due for services. So I want to, um, drop it at the mechanics, send the driver to pick it up tomorrow. I'll take a taxi from the mechanics, come home, and then I'll take your car to the airport. I uh, will pick up the car when I'm coming back tomorrow. I don't want to deal with this right now. Thank you, baby. Time! He dropped the phone! Oh no, he didn't. from this relationship, eh? Nothing! Just promises and promises and promises. No, man. No. Taiwo, you owe this chick big time. And by God, you're going to pay. What? Let me drop you off at the airport. No, baby, it's not necessary. Listen, I'm coming back tomorrow. So I'll take the car, drop it at the VIP section at the airport, and then first thing tomorrow, I'll pick up the car and come back. Oh. As soon as the meeting is over. Of course. Okay? Keep smiling, virtuous woman. But you know he's taking his girlfriend to Abuja. As long as he remembers to use a condom, you will pretend not to know and everything will just be perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, dream on, girl. Oh, shut up. Jeez. I'm talking to myself again. I really have to... Are you okay? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, of course. Um, um, call me tomorrow before boarding, so mm. I know. Mm. And um, I pray your meeting goes well. I'm mm. coming home. Absolutely. Okay. Mm. You cool, baby, okay? Friend. All right, and listen, uh, don't forget your exercises. Eat properly, rest well. All right? Okay. I know. Tell Sarah I have to go, okay? I'll buy her something nice when I'm coming. Okay. Are you sure you're okay, baby? Yeah. I'm fine. I love you. This is that I have to come back home to get myself a nice looking girl like you to marry. Hmm? <laughs> so, you take me to your sisters. I mean, your twin. You said you're 25, but you look very much older than your age. Oh, oh, come on, girl. Tell me, why is it that women like to lie about the age? Why? I'm not saying that you lie. No, but it's just an observation, yes? Hmm? Hey girl, if you say you're 25, then you're 25 it is. That, that, that is it. Hmm? 
Look at this fool. He lied about who he is too. Imagine him sending me someone else's photograph. Okay, okay I agree now. Girls, we they lie about our age once in a while, but does he have to make it sound like that? Huh? Do I get to put in a word? That's a blow for female liberation. Spicy. I love you already. So what do you want to tell me about? Hmm? You are very arrogant. <laughs> it better was a term I've had applied to me occasionally. But I think it's classier than arrogant. So why don't we start all over again after I've had much of your abject apology? My what? <laughs> oh, just kidding. Just kidding. I have to eat up so that I'm going to meet your sister, right? Shirt! Damn, this is unbelievable! My JPG shirt! Shirt! You know, I'm a total designer's freak. You know what I'm talking about now? now you know, it's luxury. I know. I know what you're thinking. But I want lavish, luxury, and pampering as lavish admiration. But girl, I don't quibble about working for them. But at the end of the day, I get it. Girl, I have to stop over by the hotel and change my shirt. My JPG shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister is out of town. Maybe the day after tomorrow. Of course you don't think I will let this egocentric creep meet any member of my family. Hell no! He thinks he's the best thing since microwave. Idiot. Man, this place is hot. Ah, very, very hot. Even after all these aces. <laughs> Damn. How do you people manage? Huh? I can't wait to relocate you over to the States so that I won't be coming home every now and then just because of you. Hmm? Huh, girl? Smart. She knew all this time. God, I feel so stupid. I don't want to nag it on this. I have to handle this as a man. I'm still the man of the house. And I don't wish to discuss it. Yeah. That's the attitude. I need to be calm. But God, f four packets of condoms. Four. What in the world was she thinking? Alright, be calm, Ty. Be calm. What is wrong? Hmm? Ty, what's going on with what we discussed? relationship. I mean, what do I get from this stupid hide and seek relationship? Nothing. All you do is take and take and take some more. Well, I've had it. I'm, not, I'm tired of just giving and not getting anything back. want to return my love. It's fine. All I've asked you for is a car. And don't think that I'm going to let you touch me without coming to some sort of agreement on this matter. What? You heard me.
I even think there was an issue in the first place. Because I don't remember asking for it, okay? Mm. Since you decided to be this way, fine. by letting you talk to me like that? You have another thing coming. Do you hear me? Look. I am not your wife, so I don't nag. Oh. Well, my dear, she can never be my wife. You know why? Because you're not even half the woman she is. Oh, really? Really. Then tell me. What are you doing here? With me? Hmm? Yeah, apparently. By some chance, this seemed to be the most intelligent thing you've said all night. Good night. And down. Without the light. When you finish nagging me. Is what? For a car. For a lousy car! How much is it? Two or three million! Two or three lousy million! Is that what you can't afford? It's not as if money is your problem! And I mean it too. You will buy me that car. Because if you don't, the trouble that I will cause for you, that money, you will use it to clean up that mess and it will still not be enough. Do you understand me? You will buy me that car. Do you hear me? <laughs> Why do married men date girls that can't hold a candle to their wives? Beats me. The harsh realities of life. Daniel, 
Where's your second school uniform? Mommy, is that not coming with us? Let's wait for daddy now. Daddy is not coming away with us, okay? So, stop wasting mommy's time and get your uniform. And I'm taking my son along with me. My son? Your son? I thought the paternity has already been established. I will ignore that insult. You haven't answered my question. Where are you going? Do you want me to go into that here? Okay. I am going away at least for a while. I tried as much as possible to cover up for you in court, despite the fact I knew you had a hand in it, but that is as far as it goes. So much has happened this past few weeks that I need to reflect on. We need to be apart. I need to think. Each time I look at you, I can't help but remember how you coldly planned with Chica to have me raised up. For God's sake, we're outside. People can hear you. Besides, I don't want my son to... Oh, please, just stop it! It, it gets me upset when you keep mentioning my son, my son, my son, when we actually know who the true father of the boy is. Benjamin, how can you be this callous? Sweetheart, please listen to me. Staying apart, it's not the solution. You know, couples face problems every day, challenges, every now and then, yet they stay calm and walk through it. That's marriage for you. Don't you dare tell me anything about marriage because you do not have any regard for that institution. Marriage is not about eating your cake and having it. Marriage is not about carefully planning for Quiet. someone else to rape your wife. Quiet! For God's sake, I told you you were outside. If you want to stay apart from me for some time, all well and good. But don't say things that will upset me. Really? As a matter of fact, I've changed my mind. You are not going anywhere. Nobody is going anywhere. You and I are going back to the house to discuss this issue as two rational adults. Benjamin, I have made up my mind. I am leaving. Is that what you really want? Yes. I want some time alone. I need to think. I need to, I need to get my mind together. I'm confused. So much has happened that has led me to question my feelings towards you. I need to be alone. I want to think. Don't bother trying to stop me because I have made up my mind. Hello? Hi, baby. I do in here. Richmond, what are you doing here? Well, my darling, I came to see you since you wouldn't pick my calls. Look, Richmond, you see, I credit you with some intelligence. And I believe that you should be intelligent enough to know that my not picking up your calls means that I do not want to talk to you, neither do I want to see you. So why on earth are you harassing me? You know, something, Abby, you're beginning to piss me off. Yeah, 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 I know you're upset, but 
Aren't we taking this anger thing a little too far? Darling, we have a good thing. Don't mess it up because I goofed a little, huh? You goofed a little? Jesus Christ, is that how you say it? Well, the point is I don't want to give you any more opportunity for you to keep on goofing, okay? I cannot afford to let you goof with my heart anymore. So darling, give it up and let me be. I can see you wouldn't get satisfied until you bring me down to my knees. But I hate to hurt your ears because I'm not giving you that satisfaction. So, I'll leave now. But I'm giving you two weeks to get back to your senses. And if in two weeks you're not sane, you'll have yourself to blame for anything that happens. I'm really getting tired of all this nonsense. Well said. That's the door. That is the door! Two weeks, baby. So, until I come and get away again next week, this is Abby Davis and Abby's corner. Keep it real. Cut, cut. Oh. That was a good one, yeah, that was great. But then I think you should be more intimate with your audience next time. Okay. All right? Yeah. And you have to come in early for more rehearsals. Okay, thank you so much. Because, um, yeah, it's like you're not concentrating on the Oh, yes, I'm, still, I'm concentrating with director, sorry. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, good sound, good sound. Yeah. Come here, man, that, that was a good one. Yeah. I was safe. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, this was, this, this is my friend. I'm sorry, director. But you know that your visitor is supposed to wait outside for you. That he has no business being in the studio. Yes, ma'am. I will direct the time. All right, then. That's fine. Hi. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right back. Take Thanks. care. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> 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 um, is this... Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we say. It looks strange. Whatever. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, how the brakes man called it. This is way too early. Yeah, let's get to know ourselves a little more. But okay. I know all there is to know about you. I like what I see. Look, Abby, I've watched you for so long that I know the way you smile. I know the way you think. I know what you like. And I know what you don't like. Every time you talk on TV, it's like you're talking directly to me when you're bearing your soul. I thank God for the giving me the opportunity of bringing it into my life. Abby, I'm not going to kid myself, and I won't kid you either. I am in love with you. And if you feel just a fraction of what I feel for you, that's fine by me. Such is the death of what I feel for you. I am besotted with you. I... I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. Just let your heart speak for you. All I ask is just one little favor from you. What? Let me hold you. Just for a few moments. Please. It's something I've dreamt of ever since I started watching you on television, your shows. I, I believe... I know God created you for me. I know he 
gave me the opportunity of bringing you into my life so I could cherish and love you the way you should be treated. This is all so strong, Frank. It's so the strength strong. for what I feel for you. Okay, at least let me hold you. Let me just hold you for a few moments. For now. Please. this relationship. As a matter of fact, from this moment, I am calling off this relationship. I am calling it quits. I am putting out with all this rubbish. Then leave. Tayo, you know the way to the door. Leave. Hmm. I mean, you're worthless. You're actually a total waste of my time and my money. To think I was going to leave Abby for you is so laughable. Just get the step and leave. <laughs> Just get the step and leave. Oh God, you know, why are you fooling yourself like this? Why are you fooling yourself like this? Oh yeah, go on, fool yourself. Which Abby are you talking about? Is it the Abby that is on every gossip column of magazines in this town? Saying she's in a hot romance with some other guy? Wake up, loser! Tayo, get into my room, pack all your rags, and leave. Pathetic liar. I will leave. I will leave. Do you know what? I will warn you. Whenever Abby dumps you finally, do not come crying to me. Because if you do, I will bat your face with hot water. Do you understand? I will bat your face with hot water if you try it. Look, if you were the last one on earth and the whole human race depended on us, I will not date you. What am I even saying? I'd rather date a monkey than have anything to do with you. Rubbish. Tayo, leave before I disfigure your face. Take, take your girlfriend's face magazine and read. You less man. Tayo. Where are you going my bath? Give me my, give me back. Bro, get out of my house. Get out. Use less. Come go and look at that magazine. It's yours. Baby, you're not sleeping. What is the problem? Didn't your Abuja meeting go well? <sighs> Whatever it is, I am sure you will have it sorted out. Hmm? Just try to get some sleep, alright? Yeah. Good night. You want to call him? Oh, come on, God. Who, who packed my toilet bag? Was it Greece? Don't say anything. Don't discuss it. What you don't know can't hurt you. Yeah, right. It's easier said than done. Um, no, I did. Um, did I forget anything? No, on the contrary. You remembered everything. <laughs> Good 
You okay, right? No, I'm fine. Good. Um, you know this this pastime of yours is not easy. You business, know, you mean? Business, business of yours is. You know. And the other day at the office, my secretary bought me this newspaper and you were, you were in it and <laughs> it caused quite they stare at the, at the office. They said such incredible glowing things about you. <laughs> I didn't believe that was my wife. <laughs> I, I, I know I've not been quite supportive of your, your business. I want you to know that I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Um, you, uh, you okay, right? Yeah. Okay. I, you know I love you, don't you? Hmm. I love this new me too. He's saying I love you again. Where to go, girl? Virtuous woman. Please just start talking. I want to hear it all. I just realized what an incredible fool I've been. And, um,. I just want you to know that, you know, I, here I am married to what I consider the greatest woman on earth, gave me such an angelic daughter and I threw all that away, I, I jeopardized all that because of my lust for her, for cute, cute body and I, I I want you to know that at, at, at any point I would really give up my life for you and our baby but I, I, what was that word again you, you used for for this situation now so most up the words were most up I, enchanting illusion that's what it was <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to do the things I did to you. I didn't mean it at all. I, I, I love you and I, I do the way I'm sorry. Find some way, find some way you have to forgive me. I'm really sorry. To think it's all right. It's all right. I put you through all that. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean it. It will never happen anymore. It won't, it won't, it won't happen anymore. I promise you. It's not like okay, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, baby. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Did you notice something? Yes. He never mentioned anything about the condom. <laughs> well, at least her method worked for her. I'm beginning to think she's the intelligent one. Instead of me with all my acclaimed beauty and intelligence. I almost ended up with a crazy fool for a partner. <laughs> so what? Your Lordship, if I have ever been disappointed in my entire life, I think I know now. If I have never known the wickedness of man, I think I know that now. Here is my friend that I gave all, told all, never kept any secret from him. Your Honor, how was I to know that all the secrets that I gave to him without conditions would be used against me to the extent of raping my wife in my absence and saying to the court that I arranged for my wife to be raped? I put it to you, Engineer Ata, that you had a mutual agreement with your friend considering your peculiar 
medical condition, and he merely obliged you. Your Honor, there was never a time in my life that I reached such an unimaginable arrangement with him to rape my wife in order to raise a child for me, since I have already concluded arrangements for adoption, uh, knowing my unfortunate medical condition, and to rob insults to injury. He has brought this private matter to the public domain in court. He has therefore subjected me to public odium. I have become a subject of ridicule. People snigger and laugh at me anytime they see me in public. Your Honor, since you are the last bastion of hope, since you are also the dispenser of justice to the oppressed, I plead with you, Your Honor, to restore my dignity, to restore my hope in the judicial system, to restore my pride as a man in the eyes of the public by giving me justice, by making me once again to feel proud in the committee of people. Thank you for giving me audience, Your Honor. My Lord, that will be all for this injury at home the emergency at home. My lord, this is clearly a case of someone trying to reap where he did not sow. The plaintiff has brought the action to court to claim what rightfully belongs to him, the circumstances notwithstanding. My lord, the twin issues of rape and robbery are not the crux in this matter. The action before this court is the determination of the paternity of Daniel Atta, which has been resolved. And given the mountains of factual proof before us, my lord, the accusations of rape and robbery would free her into thin air. My lord, it has been proven beyond reasonable doubts that Mr. Benjamin Atta cannot father a child. He is the defendant in this case. Yasmin Atta, his wife, has stated without any ambiguity that her husband cannot father a child. All other investigations have proven this, my lord. Finally, my lord, DNA test carried out on all the parties involved in this matter has proved without any equivocation that my client, Mr. Chika Ezefe, is the rightful, undisputable biological father of Daniel Atta. I, I'm sorry, my lord, I plead to strike off the name Atta. My lord, we are all conversant with the popular legal maxim. Ibi jus, ibi remedium. Wherever there is law, there is justice. The law cannot therefore stand and watch as grievous injustice is being meted out to my client. A perfect gentleman. A friend in need and a friend indeed. My Lord, I humbly implore this honorable court to hold that my client, Mr. Chika Ezefe, being the rightful biological father of Daniel that he been given the custody of the child. On this note, my lord, I will rest my submission. My lord, it is true that where there's law, there's justice. But my lord, the Latin Muslim states that he who must come with equity must do so with clean hands. 
There is no doubt that the plaintiff's hands have been soiled with dirt. I mean, a man carefully stages a robbery, goes to his friend's house to put his plan and intent into effect, and in the process rapes his friend's wife. He goes home happy having succeeded in his despicable act, only to come back seven years later to say the child is his. This rapist, bloody arm robber, is now parading himself as a hero who helps his friend out in a time of need and now says he wants custody of his friend's son? My lord, even if a thousand and one DNA test results prove conclusively that the plaintiff actually fathered the child, but as a result of rape, does his action portray him as a man capable of being a good father? How can a child relate with a father who raped and robbed his mother? How can a child relate with a father who left his mother for dead for all he cared? How can such a criminal, instead of wallowing in the gallows, be free to claim custody of a child? These are all the questions the court must consider before passing judgment. And if you ask me, my lord, for seven years, the defendant's wife has been in pains, searching for her violator. But glory be to God that he actually walked into justice by himself. My lord, the plaintiff's counsel demands for justice. I also equally demand for justice. Custody of a child cannot be granted to a criminal and a rapist for that matter. Children are the future of our nation and we have a duty to protect them. I therefore admonish this court to grant custody of the child to the defendant, the only father that Daniel has always known, and order the police to arrest and prosecute the plaintiff. My lord, I rest my case. How long will you continue this madness? Well, how long? Listen to me. Whether you like it or not, we are still husband and wife and therefore must act accordingly. I know and I have apologized a thousand times and more. I did it for the family. I did it for the single reason that I didn't want to lose you. How many times will I tell you that? Look, sweetheart, let's, let's be reasonable about this, okay? Let's be reasonable. But, okay, have it your way, but staying apart is not the solution. I was, okay, fine, fine, if that's the way you want it. You know I don't like it when you get like this. I'll talk to you later. Fine. Bye. <laughs> My judgment. The plaintiff, Mr. Chika Ezeife, brought this action to court, claiming custody of a seven-year-old child belonging to the defendant and his wife. In this case, several witnesses were called and documents tendered as experts, including a DNA test result. This is a spectacular and special case with several angles and hands, like that of an octopus. A man at any point in time has the right to demand for his child, especially where that child is not in his custody. Due to all the plaintiff who has justifiable rights to demand for the custody of his child. From all the evidence adduced in this court and all the SB standards, Everything points to the direction of the plaintiff as being the biological father of Daniel Atta. If there was any doubt at all, that doubt was erased by the result of the DNA test result, which proved conclusively to the fact that the plaintiff is the father of Daniel. However, the circumstances of this case appears different from many cases I have encountered as judge of the High Court for the past 15 years. It has been held in several celebrated cases and under the Matrimonial Causes Act of 1973, the United Nations as well as the African Union Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child, that the welfare of the child is paramount before any decision can be taken. 
In this present case, the welfare of the child is of utmost importance. The defendant, Mr. Benjamin Atta, is the only father that Daniel Atta has known since birth. It is evident that the child has been very well taken care of by the defendant. The testimonies of the plaintiff leaves no doubt in the minds of the court that he is not fit to be a father to any young child. I hold, therefore, that the custody of the child remains with the defendant, Mr. Benjamin Atta. Oh God! Order! I hold further that the police should arrest the plaintiff forthwith for prosecution in the appropriate court. With regards to rape and arm robbery, this is my judgment. The call shall rise. Stop. Anybody, I am not my stuff because they might burn it or something. You know? Look at this. This is not clothes are freaking expensive. That is why I take time myself to iron my clothes by myself, like I said. Hmm? Let's not forget. I hope you know how to iron. Hmm? Huh? Yes, because I'm very much particular about my my my, my, my future wife having this ironing skills. Yeah, because I tell you. Designer labels, right? Did you get that? Yes, I did. But what you also forgot to tell me was that you were just arrogant and annoying. Can you explain to me why you found it necessary to feed me with lies about yourself? What did you just say? You heard me. I demand an explanation as to why you sent me someone else's photographs instead of yours. Oh, I have some prints here, just in case you want to deny it. I am sick and tired of your rubbish. I want answers, and I want them right now. Oh, At least the pictures are sent to you. You know very well they are. Oh, and the person in those photographs does not, I repeat, does not remotely resemble you. Damn it! Why must I, I mean, why must I make such a silly mistake? Huh? This person is my other brother. Oh, damn. I must have folded wrong pictures to you. I'm so sorry, God, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's a little mistake. Mm -hmm. Damn, hey, you go. What are you blowing what I got for? I better look at that, my brother. Everyone touched me down, right? As a matter of fact, he's terribly jealous of me. You know, when we were much younger, we quarrel every now and then because he wanted to copy everything that I do. You know what I'm talking about, you know, to him. I know you can identify with that, you know, being a sibling, twin. You know what I'm talking about? Sibling rivals. They are not new to you, right? <laughs> so, let's hit the road, girl. <laughs> oh my God, damn. Damn. My old friends can't wait to see me then. Look, girl, if you know you're going to be my wife, that does not mean you should take most of my time, right? Huh? Did you hear that? Jesus. I cannot believe this. I have heard of jacks, but this one certainly takes the cake. Oh, I must not forget to tell Abby. We have to do something on the dangers of internet dating on our next episode on Abby's Corner. Damn! What are you taking off? I've noticed you switch off sometimes. I mean, are you an upset mother person? Damn! I love attention. And I don't want any. Attention, this is your wife. Get that into your mouth, right? Huh? Let's go.
Welcome to Tracy's. Uh, how may we help you? Hmm. How may we help you? I think I'm the one actually helping you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Okay, let me break it down to you, okay? I've been helping you out, or rather, should I say, your husband? <laughs> My God, you are on the big side, aren't you? Woo. Now I can see why he keeps running to me all the time. <laughs> and you know Tyro, he's such a horse with a large appetite. <laughs> oh, please, don't bother losing weight. Just remain the way you are, okay? I just wanted to see for myself, face to face. And now I can understand why. <laughs> You know what, darling? Why don't you just give him the divorce he so badly needs? Because, frankly, you don't do him any justice at all. Okay? Now, you have a nice day. <laughs> Abby hasn't called. She's actually serious about this. Man, how could I have been so stupid to let her catch me like that? Now I'm short of funds. Even recharge card I can't buy. I mean, that used to be her duty, you know, buying me recharge cards. God, I'll kill that tire for busting my bubble. Messing around with my personal mogul. Seems these Lagos babes are really wising up now. It's not going to be easy finding another Mugu, you know. In fact, I'll just swallow my pride and call her. I think I'll swallow my pride and call her. Damn. Damn. Ready to eat? Mmm. Wow. Ready to eat. Mmm. I'm quite confused here. I'm not sure which one to satisfy first. The hunger in my belly or the hunger in... <laughs> Your tummy, of course. Because the other one is certainly out of the question until my bride price is paid. And I am ready to pay that bride price right now. If you would only say yes. Are you proposing? Yes, it is. It would be the greatest honor if you would agree to be the mother of my children. Look, I don't have silver or gold. But I will give you my heart, my body and my soul. For as long as I live, till death do us part. So... I am asking you, right here, right now, Abby, will you marry me? Please say something. And please don't say no, because I don't know if I could survive it. Uh, you don't have... Why don't you say anything? Because... Uh, because you, you leave me speechless. I love you, friend. Yes, I'll marry you. I'll marry you wherever, whenever you want it. Rich 
Desmond, it's you. I told you it's over, Richmond, and I mean it. Yes. What? Richard Card? What? I, I can't believe this. Happened. Okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll send it to you. I said I'll text it to you, okay? So stop calling me. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Was it... Oh yeah, my um, my ex-boyfriend Richmond. I mean, why 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 are some guys such weasels? Why are they hopeless? Look, things happen, but we're not going to let a guy like Richmond spoil our fun tonight, are we? Hmm. No. Besides, I have him to thank for letting go of the most wonderful girl in the world and making me a very Happy man. And that's what happened. You did what? Are you out of your mind? You slept with her husband. No, that was not enough. You went ahead to rain insults on her. Girl, don't you want to get married someday? Jesus. Listen, hmm? those housewives, they are very good with prayers. In fact, they are perfect with prayers. <laughs> Angela. No go make the woman begin robocobo shaba for your head though. No go make her begin robocobo shaba for your head because I'm no danger. I'm no be prayer warrior. I don't talk my own finish. I just wanted to hurt him. I just wanted to hurt him. I wanted to hurt him the way he hurt me when he stopped taking my calls. And the only way I could do that was to confront his wife. You needed to have seen the way she looked at me. As if I was a lost dog. With pity. Me. Taiwo. Do you know how much he gave me? A miserable 1.8 million naira. What am I supposed to do with 1.8 million naira? What kind of car will I buy that will be befitting of my status? Oh, God. You said his wife didn't be the word to you? She didn't say anything. And you need to see her. She's so fat. Just running around the place like that. She even looks better in pictures. Imagine him telling me you're not half the woman she is. Taiwo. Taiwo! Taiwo, you don't go better for you. God will punish you. you <laughs> shut up! Shut up! God does not answer that type of prayer. Okay? But tell me, what kind of car am I supposed to buy with 1.8 million naira? What kind of car? After everything Tyler has put me through! Alice, is that something? He gave you something he didn't leave you without, did he? Listen, girlfriend, my sincere advice to you, straight from my heart, do not go back to that place again. 
please. Perfect. You said his wife didn't say a word. <laughs> Who knows what she has planned up off her sleeves? So please, back down that you still have the time. <laughs> back down now. Okay. So you said to, to talk. So let me, let me, I'm telling you now. God is my witness. Single guy. Impeccable is the term I've heard applied to myself oh. occasionally. Oh. It's classier. Oh. Imagine the arrogance. Girl, if it's year 25, then 25 it is. <laughs> oh my god, this is so interesting. <sighs> but uh, how far for you now? Why you go lie about your age? Like? We were chatting at the time. How do I know we're going to become friends? <laughs> eh? What about him? Eh? He lied about himself too. Imagine him sending me his brother's picture, claiming it was a mistake. <laughs> and he thinks I should just accept it like that. And the most annoying thing is the way he just assumes that I'm going to marry him, irrespective of what he looks like or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, he thinks it's God's gift to women. <laughs> oh my God! I can't get over this. I can't get over this, star. <sighs> so when am I meeting him? Eh? Me too. Where? How? <laughs> You're not meeting anybody because I know you. You never stop laughing about it. <laughs> God! I can't believe how foolish I have been. Mm. My dear, this mm. internet dating is just nonsense. I told you! Well, not one word of I told you so. <laughs> okay, fine. Hmm. So when is he going back? Like, I, are you listening to me at all? <laughs> Maybe he's still around, I don't know. That guy has enough arrogance for 10 men. <laughs> what he lacks for in his size, he more than makes up for it in arrogance. <laughs> I hope we don't forget to include him in your research. Because this is a game of all games. You know what? This is the best talk show ever. This episode on games men play is gonna be too, too much. Oh my god, oh my god. You should laugh, laugh all you want, eh? Just laugh all you want. <gasps> Just pray it doesn't happen to you. Whatever, whatever, girl. <laughs> Where is Mr. Loverman this hot Saturday uh -uh. afternoon? No, 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 no. No, don't you dare change the subject. No, no, no. We're gonna talk about Peter the Block. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Seriously, girl. Seriously. We are not getting any younger, and more and more interesting men are not easy to come by. So I think you should just give this guy a chance, you know. Height or not, it's not the size that counts, it's the... Uh-oh. Okay. Fine. With that kind of look on your face, I think Frank is the safest subject for us to talk about. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. <sighs> Honestly, Tara, Frank is God's gift to me, you know. He's for real. You know, he appreciates me. He respects me. And to cap it all, he loves what I do. Really? Mm -hmm. Then Frank it is. Yeah. So no more Richmond. Who's there? Why are you smiling at me? Who's that person on the phone? Oh, I really appreciate what you guys face. I mean, those of you in front of a camera in the entertainment industry, music, movies, you know, actresses, you know, having to deal with your fans and your spouse's perception of what is really going on. You know, that was a problem I had with Frank initially, but you know, he's so cool with it. Oh. You know, and he makes great impute that only men with your interest at heart can only do. Oh. I'm totally, totally blown away. Oh. Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that we're feeling? <laughs> <laughs> so this is goodbye to Richmond the Rat. Oh, you bet. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Good for you, girl. I am so happy for you. Mm. Forget about how miserable me I'm feeling right now, but I'm so, so happy for you. Yeah. But let's just try and keep our relationships out of the front pages of those newspapers. You know, Tara, I don't discuss my relationships. So right about now, they can write all they want to write about. I don't care because this part of you is so much in love. Uh, uh, this is serious. This is serious. And this is serious. And this is serious. And this. <laughs> Excuse me, Abby, I'd like to have a word with you. Um, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll just. No, 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 please don't go. Everything he has to say has to be said here and now. I don't want you to leave, please. It's okay, it's okay. I'll just be waiting over there.
Yes, Richmond, what do you want? Abby, I want you back in my life, you know, where you belong. And I want you to go straight to hell where you belong. What an opening line! I want you to come back into my life, Abby, where you belong. Is that what you came here to tell me? Now let me tell you something, Richmond. It is not enough for you to want something, but only if you deserve that thing. And boy, you don't deserve me. Okay? And as a matter of fact, you don't deserve anything good in your life. Okay now. Okay. Abby, you win. Abby, you win. I'm ready to commit. Okay? Abby, I'm ready to marry you. What the hell is wrong with you? I, Richmond, wants to marry you. What is wrong with you? Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you've always wanted? Yeah! Yeah, I know all this drama is just because you want both of us to go to the altar, right? I surrender. I will marry you, Abby. Yes! I will marry you. Fine! At some point, I thought I couldn't get anything better. But you see, Richmond, I was wrong. As a matter of fact, Richmond, I am too good for your kind. I have moved and I think you should do the same, okay? See you around. Abby, Abby. You're not going to walk away after four years, are you? Four years of nothing but heartache? Four years of nothing but me paying into the emotional bank and you doing nothing but withdrawing? Look, Richmond, it is over and it's going to stay that way. I've found someone who appreciates the real woman in me and I'm just going to spend the rest of my life loving him. Have a good life. Abby, I'm talking to you, goddammit. What is wrong with you? What? How can I say I'm sorry when you can't even listen to me? What's wrong with you? Let go of my hand, Richmond. I will not Richmond. let go of this hand till you listen to me. The lady says let go of her hand. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Now you shut up and you piss off, okay? Wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I guess so. Now, mister, I'm trying to have a healthy conversation with my fiance. So you go straight to hell and do me this favor. Remain there. Richmond, don't you dare talk to him in that tone, okay? In case you didn't hear me, I am through with this relationship, okay? And so you can just stop the insults. Stop it! Abby, I can see we can't have our healthy relationship with Mr. Potato Head here. I'll come by the house. Abby, I'm a changed man. So am I, Richmond. You will changed. Bye. Abby, it's not over, okay? It's not over. It's not over. Abby, I own you, okay? Abby, you're mine. If I can't have you, nobody will. Girl. I mean, I'm sick and tired of all this. Why did you come here in the first place? Huh? You don't want to allow me to sample the goods I want to buy. And mind you, you don't expect me to walk you down the altar without knowing whether you can perform or not. <laughs> <laughs> if I can perform, sweetheart, I can perform. But the question is, can you perform? What kind of silly question is that? You're asking me where I can perform. Look at this girl. If you have a test of this body, believe me, girl, you always long for it. Really? Well, Peter, I don't think this whole bloody game of yours is working out. <laughs> okay, okay. Huh? Don't worry, I don't disturb you again. So if you don't want it, no problem. I'm, I'm off to fine. work. Everything. Did you see that? <laughs> 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 
There's some things a girl can compromise. But some things are no-go areas. Imagine the arrogance. That is if he can even. I have better things to do. You need to arrest this situation expeditiously. Since there's just no way about it. Yeah. I'm sure Tracy will have an idea where she is. Please, Ty will help me find out from her. I've looked all over for her. I've been to her mother's place, she's not there. I've been to her brother's place, she's not there either. I don't know what else to do. Uh, okay, leave it to me. I, I'm sure Tracy should know something. I'll find out. Okay? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Listen, um, Ben, I don't mean to pry, but um, we're old friends. I just want to know, did you really ask Chica to do something The case like is closed. I will listen. I would like you to remain like that, please. Yes? There! Girl! What do you mean by that? You know, we're supposed to be getting out together. And you kept me waiting, 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 waiting. And I had to take a cab to this place. But you know what? He was the us I don't run after chicks. Because it ruins my money prowess. But for you, girl, man, I could cross the ocean. I don't mind. Firstly, my name is Tara, not girl. Secondly, I would rather you jump straight into the ocean instead of crossing it. Lastly, I would prefer to date the old-fashioned way. So get out of my sight. I don't ever want to see you again. Egocentric jerk. Hey, girl! Are you ditching me? Are you out of your mind? Do you know what to be missing if you let me go? Huh? Let's take a bit, man. I'm the best thing that ever lodged in your doorway. <laughs> okay, let's take a bit, like I said. Come on, kid. Loser! Loser! I flew all the way from East Texas, United States of America to rescue a helpless sister of a girl like her. And she's giving me attitude. Damn, no sense. Good, I can't. Women, you could be naughty sometimes. I don't. <laughs> Take about anything from you, ranging from your late night comments to your cheating. But what I will not have is being insulted in my office, right in presence of my workers, by your idiot of a mistress, who I must say has bananas for queen. I have had it with you, Ty. It is obvious you don't have respect for me as your wife. Well, don't, don't start that, okay? Please, I'm don't tired. tell me what to say because I have been the one who. Together for as long as I can remember. Yet, what do I get? You passing as patience on my looks. On whatever that does not please you. Do you discuss me with your mistress? Well, when you have the urge to do that, remember you weren't like this when I married you. I am the one who takes care. I am the one who makes this a home. I am the one who has to have the children. I'm the one who has who fights to get back into shape. I am also the 21st century woman who knows that the Bible calls her a helper. Who has done everything the Bible instructed her to do. One marriage. I can find you. Where are you? Where are you in all this time? Is this not a human? What is going on? Are we not supposed to be in this together? I can't find you. I can't find you. Just, what you need to do is to calm down. Let's talk to intelligent people and everything will be fine. Just calm down, okay? I'm sorry. Baby. I'm sorry. That's it. That is it. Everything is back to normal. 
because you see your son. I'm sorry, too. I can't. Wait, 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 wait. Please, please, please. Don't be cool. Okay, just be patient. Listen to me. All I need is one minute. Okay. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you like this. Okay, it, it, I, I've broken everything. I, when I went to Abuja, I broke that relationship. I don't intend to do anything like that ever in my life again. I swear to you. Okay, I, I swore on the life of our little baby. It's not going to happen anymore. I, I, I don't know what happened in the office. I, I, don't, I don't want to know. I'm only giving you my word right now, right here, that it will not ever repeat itself. It's not going to happen anymore, I promise you. I, I didn't mean to hurt you like this. You just give me another chance. I'll, I'll make it up to you every step of the way. Every step. Just trust me and, and listen to me, please. Okay, I, I know you've heard this before. I know. I'm sorry. Look at me. I'm sorry. Baby, look at me. I'm sorry. Baby, it's me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, you people sure do have guts. You, you think? Kissing me will just make everything all right? I have tried so hard, so hard to ignore your indiscretions, but this, this sure takes the cake. And I'm very upset with you, Taiwo, and I am not going to pretend about it. not enough for you to promise to put an end to this. See to it that you do. Because when something of this nature happens again, do not blame me for what I will do. and go back home. I know what Ben did was wrong, but he is sorry. And you know he loves you very much. He is almost out of his mind with worry. He calls me every day to, to beg you to come home. Tracy, I will eventually go back home, but I still need some time. I need to come to terms with what Ben did to me. I mean, how can he claim he loves me yet plot such an evil against me? How? Is that the meaning of love? My sister, it is difficult to tell how a man's mind works. Look at Taiwo now. See the insult I received the other day from one silly girl he was sleeping with. See the, the, the things we have to pull up with all in the name of marriage. I have pondered and I have come to the realization that there is no such thing as easy marriage. It only takes the grace of God. So, go home and, yes, me. every marriage has its bad moment. You just had yours. Make it your last. Go home and have this sorted out. Go home. Tracy, let him sweat more for what he made me go through. Can you imagine the trauma I've been through? Can you? <sighs> to think I'm still saying I'm shocked. Truly. <sighs> However, I'm glad it's all over. <sighs> if I'm going back to Ben, that means we have to start afresh. We'll probably relocate go somewhere else because I wouldn't have Chica come out of jail to revisit the case because I can't stand it. I can't. And that is the 
end of our research on games men play. I hope you enjoyed doing it with me as much as I enjoyed doing it. Well, now you know. As for my love life, I'm still single and seriously searching. I know that there's a man out there for me and I intend to find him. As for what I feel for my sister sometimes, envy. Yes, I envy her. Who wouldn't if you were still single? Envy is not jealousy. Hello. If you're still single and ready for a fresh start, I am at the street called Hala. Hala me. Tara. Guys, are we set? Camaro one, are you ready? Two, are you ready? Sure. Presenter, is everything okay? Yes. We're going in five seconds. VCR. One, two, three, four, five. Action. Are just as frustrated as they were when you first become aware of their existence. If and when a man doesn't measure, you must take an immediate action because you only have one life to live and the clock is ticking. Chances are that you may be worried that your boyfriend might have a fling or probably seen someone else. But there's a new kind of infidelity that you probably haven't noticed yet. These days, more and more people are getting involved into so many relationships at the same time. They are looking for the emotional connection of a relationship, but they can't or won't choose between partners. According to experts, dating polygamists could technically be labeled as sociopaths. The lengths that they go to lie and manipulate without any real sense of guilt indicates a social dysfunction. You cannot open the door to every creep that comes knocking. You can chase after men who aren't worth catching. And of course, you shouldn't fight over them. But no matter what happens in your relationship, falling down and getting back up again is part of life. Remember, you are responsible for your happiness. There is nobody out there that is necessary to complete you. Look at this girl. Is she actually using me as a case study? And people will listen to this sorry excuse of a live show. I mean, Abby is actually using me as a material for a show. Can, can you imagine that? Now, by pursuing your dreams with passion, you can automatically attract a man who is pursuing his dreams with passion. An enlightened, inspiring man who can only appreciate the real you. Anyway, that's by the way. Well, until I come your way again next week, this was Games Men Play with Abby Davis and Arby's Corner. Until then, bye for now. I hope I'm doing the right thing going for this wedding. Why should I? Is it really wise? In fact, I'm not going again. Wow, look at you. Ooh, I can see you all dressed and ready for the wedding. I came here so we could go there together as a couple. You don't want your ex-girlfriend thinking that you're there to woo her or that you're still holding the touch for her. So I came in as a messiah to save you from the ugly situation. What do you think? I gotta get in. What's with the suitcase? <sighs> oh. I'm staying the whole weekend. You see, we will need the entire weekend to make up. Another thing, sweetie, I'm writing my project. And you promised to fund it for me? <laughs> Thank God things have gotten better, guy. I saw you right. You have a good eye. Ah, the elements now, moi moi. Hmm? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about that when we get back from the wedding. But I gotta go inside. Okay. No, Tyo, you amaze me. The why? I thought you said you'd rather date a monkey than date me. So tell me, whatever happened to the monkeys? <laughs> Did I say that? Oh God! Anyway, the monkeys are dead. You haven't heard? There was a fire disaster in the forest, and all the monkeys died. <laughs> 
Look, I am so excited. You know why? Because my biggest rival is getting married to another man and that leaves you open for me and me alone. That is, if you don't go chasing the chief bridesmaid as usual. What are you doing? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> gotta get inside now. So sweetie, let's go cruising. We are going to paint the entire wedding way. Let's go, 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 let's go
my god! I'm out of jail! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.